hello welcome everyone for our first episode of necrobiotic uh i'm really excited to play this game uh it's gonna be so cool uh if you would like uh to check it out it's it's on kickstarter right now um and we'll we'll throw some links in chat for that in a in a moment um but yeah it's gonna be really cool and i'm very excited uh before we jump in though uh real quick i just wanted to say a quick word about sponsors uh, which i'm putting information about that into chat uh, which is fundamental rpg it's a simple d20 system uh, looks like this uh, it's really cool you can run everything from uh, high fantasy to uh, sci-fi on it and everything in between uh, you can pick up a copy on amazon uh, just search for fundamental rpg uh, or you can go to coffee.com slash raven slash shop uh, just like it says at the bottom of the screen just add slash shop to the end uh, and you can find the PDF version there, the digital copy, which is currently on sale, uh, and character sheets for that as well. At that same website, you can also find our other sponsor, which is Intrepid, uh, which is adventuring gear for real life. Um, really cool clothing items, uh, mouse pads, mugs, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm currently using an Intrepid coffee mug uh, while we're playing. Um, but yeah, it's uh, all that stuff with an adventure tabletop theme. It's very cool. Uh, and then finally, Die Hard Dice. Uh, which are just incredible dice. Um, they sent me this really cool prismatic rainbow set I've been using to roll uh, anytime I need to roll physical dice uh, this month. It's fantastic. Uh, and you can pick up your own set at dieharddice.com. And if you use the code BLACKFEATHERMAY, all one word, capital B, capital M, uh, you can get 10% off your order. Uh, and then finally, if you want to catch up on any of the other shows that we've had on the channel, uh, or if you need to catch up on episodes of this show uh, later, you can do so at the Fantasy Network at watch.thefantasy.network. Just go to Stream Library, look for Black Feather Guild, and that's where you'll find all our content. And all that out of the way, I want to let everybody else introduce themselves and their characters real quickly. Um, we'll start with the top left. So, uh, Chatterbox, tell us a little bit about Ven and yourself. Hi, I'm a Chatterbox AVA. Um, Twitter is twitter.com slash Chatterbox AVA. Um, and um, I'm excited to be here. I've um, been a big fan of Raven and a lot of uh, their affiliated people. I'm just kind of excited to be here with her. Uh, and I'm going to be playing Dr. Ven, a uh, sort of uh, a German stereotype in a um, very um, cool citadel of science sort of background, a architect and archivist. Um, they um, are a little strange, but their kind of background as well as the entire uh, state of this 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 um, amazing hospital is also very strange and um, uh, what's what's the word um, baroque I guess baroque is, is is a good style for it but yeah thank you for having me yeah awesome yeah, very excited uh, next we'll hop down to Hope tell us a little bit about Teddy and yourself uh, hi I'm Hope Tracy you can find me on Twitter at Hope Hope Tracy seventy one also on Thursdays on the same channel for Alita Beskar. Um, and Monday nights on the Lady Sidos channel for uh, Tales of Drahi. Uh, Teddy is a technophon, so he is a big bear of a man who has a mechanized armor. Uh, I believe it's steam powered. It sounds like it. Um, bit of a bit of a grouch. It's, uh, <laughs> so I'll be having a lot more fun with this character than anyone else will. Awesome. Uh, next, we've got Josh. Tell us a little bit about uh, Jace and yourself. Hey, uh, my name is Josh. Um, uh, I, 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 he said about the plugging thing. We do it at the end, and we can do a little bit now. Is that a uh -huh. sure? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, for me personally, the only thing I really got going on that people can see is uh, me and my children do a podcast called Teenagers and Troublemakers, playing D and D fifth edition oh cool uh but yeah uh, other than that i'm just uh here i'm new i'm new to everybody on this channel and i'm hoping to have a lot of fun <laughs> that's what i'm hoping for fantastic yeah um all right uh next is me i'm raven i'm the creative director for the raven evermore which is my brand for all the various things i do most of which are tabletop related uh, my link tree is there in chat or if you're watching this on the fantasy network later it's just linktr.ee slash the raven like it says below my face uh, and then i'm playing sophie mcday uh who does not people well um she's very smart uh and and she builds a lot of things uh, and uh, if you want her to interact with people or, or be charming, um, that might be a problem. 
Um, but she's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, she's uh, sort, sort of, um, what is it called? Uh, Technosophist. Um, so she like makes things uh, out of scrap, essentially. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to playing her. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then next we've got Wowzer. Tell us a little bit about uh, Officer Bateman and yourself. Well, I am going to be playing Officer Bateman, and I'm very particular that everybody pronounces it correctly. Uh, I am the law around here, even though it might take me a little bit longer sometimes to get things done. I will eventually get them done. Uh, I'm also... I, it says I'm also like the jury and the judge in the trials and the prosecutors. So, I mean, that's the only reason I'm able to get things done is because I decide <laughs> everything about the process. <laughs> and uh, I, I, you know, she always wanted to be a cop, grew up, became a cop. And just because of sheer lack of other people wanting to do the job was able to get it. <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm nice, you know, I do my best with people as far as me personally. Uh, I mostly just hang out on Twitter. Uh, if I have anything to promote, I'll promote it there. Uh, I don't really have a lot going on right now. I'm doing this super excited to do this. So I'm just kind of focusing all my energy on this. Awesome. Glad uh, to be. Yeah. We're excited to have you. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, Mitch, tell us a little bit about your your wonderful self and this really cool game that you put together. And take it away. Yeah, uh, uh, I am Mitch or Mitchell. Uh, you can find me on all social media as usually as Penny for a Tale. Um, and that also applies to like Steam and, and Blizzard and stuff like that. Um, other than uh, doing this game, uh, I also stream on uh, and own Penny for a Tale as well as Weave the Tale. Uh, we do a lot of marketing for for different TTRPGs. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy to be here and and, and run this uh, amazing game, uh, which I am titling this campaign, uh, It Snowed in April, um, which I, I think is a nice header uh, into the, the story and, and the world. Uh, it is 2,100 uh, people are residing behind the walls of Florence. Uh, there are farmlands outside of the walls, uh, but for the most part, uh, people uh, prefer the nice comforts of Florence, despite the fact that there are not nearly as many people as there once was because of the increased death and the uh, lower birth rates that occurred uh, pretty much around our year, 2020, 2021. Uh, not great years, um, traditionally, anyway. Um, and so, yeah, that, that brings us here. Um, I always like to start off with uh, a nice jaunt at a coffee place uh, early in the morning. Um, everyone's job is uh, kind of chosen uh, at the age of 14 based on uh, your abilities, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you're free to go elsewhere. They just kind of encourage you to go down this route that would most likely utilize your abilities to the best in order to keep humanity living and surviving. Uh, so at this coffee place, uh, here on the cobblestone steps of a street in Florence, buildings on the left and right tall, kind of obscuring the sun as it's slowly rising up. Uh, so you get a little bit of those reds and violets peeking through in the alleyways onto the streets. Um, it's a brisk, cold day um, here in, in Florence. Um, but here you have like the cafe has those umbrellas uh, protecting you from um, if there was rain or maybe possibly even snow. Uh, there's a nice little wind, uh, so you probably have a jacket on. Um, and there is a single construct um, whose entire job is to keep the coffee warm and to, to pour it. Um, because humanity has focused on what is required for us to continue on, there isn't really much variance in what you eat and you drink. Um, and so coffee is just kind of the, the only thing that can wake you up in the morning. Um, kind of outlined, it's it's this construct and constructs are the dead, uh, which 
whose skin has been tanned, leathered, and stretched out across the skeletal uh, structure of a human cadaver. Uh, and then they put steam parts in the back, mechanisms that control and allow you to program how it how it moves. Um, and there's one here. Its chest cavity has been carved out, and in its place is like a little boiler plate for a carafe of coffee, um, just right in its chest. Um, it has a smiley face someone spray painted on it, uh, on this kind of skull like face to kind of make it look a little bit happy. Um, it doesn't look happy. It looks maybe it's even creepier with a little spray paint. Um, but you, you sit down, you, you pay, uh, the appropriate amount of money and it will come on over and, and pretty much give you three, uh, three refills of, of coffee. Um, very robotic, these long skeletal like, uh, claws grabbing the craw from its chest cavity and slowly pouring it out for you and then placing it back, uh, into its chest. Um. But this morning, how's everyone doing? And we'll say that you guys live close enough on this street that this is probably your spot. Um, yeah. So who would like to go first? Uh, Describe what you look like and everything like that. Sure, I can go first. Um, so, so Sophie is uh, uh, looks slightly agitated, um, um, border, borderline on, on paranoid, uh, sort of looking around. Um, she's got like uh, coveralls on um, it's pretty much her her standard outfit um, with uh, with plenty of pockets uh, for various tools and, and bits and, and bobs and things to uh, to to work into uh, little constructs or whatever robots or whatever she's making um, and, uh, and and yeah she um, kind of looks at the the construct pouring the coffee and um, I'm not sure if, if they can talk back or not, but it doesn't really matter because um, Sophie's just going to take the coffee and go, there's no there's no cinnamon in this, right? Because I'm allergic. So, um, you know, one time there was cinnamon in it and I, I couldn't breathe for like all day. Well, I mean, I could breathe, but it was like, it was hard. Um, it's just no cinnamon, right? Yeah, it. Uh, most constructs don't talk unless they provide a video box, which allows a human to communicate via it um and looking at this it doesn't even have a lower jaw it's just kind of these two front teeth uh in this empty oh, place God, where perfect. its lower jaw <laughs> would be um you you speak to it and it just kind of gazes out at you without any eyes in its eye sockets just kind of these dark holes uh as it looks at you uh, and then returns the off back into his chest cavity uh, oh, and returns to his quarter. Uh, yeah, Sophie just sort of hold, holds up the cup and goes, uh, uh, okay, good talk. Um, and goes back to drinking uh, the coffee. Also, also thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, Critical Raiders. Misses, thank you so much for that raid. Welcome in. Hope you guys had a good morning a good... session. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, oh, that's Sophie. In. That's what she's doing. I can go next. Oh, oh good, you go. good. You go. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess I, I think you're gonna regret that. Um. <laughs> uh. So um, it is currently snowing. I believe, as you mentioned before. Um. Uh. The people who are present um in this sort of uh, locale are going to see a man with a um uh, a plague doctor's mask and like a a, a a top hat with like a the the hole at the top or, or the the brim of the hat kind of like pushed through at the top um kind of this fur coat and this very like um kind of little science uniform and he's walking in or sorry they are walking in with a, a canvas and a um, um sort of a canvas holder and a um a, another construct a, a servitor um and so um they uh they seem kind of just chipper and kind of just um uh, kind of like well to do as, as as someone could be um looking like that and there's this sort of like Francisco, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. puts um, a paintbrush in the construct's hands and kind of just um, does a little like camera frame like uh uh huh uh huh ah, yeah perfect okay Francisco you do your fuck <laughs> 
and he goes to get uh they go to get a cup of coffee um um kind of like from the other construct while um they're watching this construct poorly paint on the canvas um with some kind of um palette all right who's next i'll go so uh my character is uh, just sitting at her usual corner table, just kind of keeping an eye on everything. You know, she likes to sit next to the window so she can also look outside and make sure nothing's going on anywhere that she would need to take care of anything. Uh, I'm definitely a regular here, probably even multiple times a day you would see me in this coffee shop. You know, I'm used to working long days, long nights, always just like trying to watch the city and being extra vigilant. So uh, coffee is my life. I think I'm more coffee than person at this point. Um, I I don't really, I still am not fully comfortable with the constructs, I would say. Um, it's just creepy to me. It shouldn't be like that, um, but I understand the necessity. Uh, so I kind of just like, whenever I need more coffee, I'll just hold my cup out and keep reading over it. Like I have a little notepad always on me and I'm always taking notes. So I'm just like reading over my notes on previous cases and just keeping my ears open, keeping my eyes open, being just doing detective stuff always. I don't do anything else. So I'm just like watching everything happen, just sitting in the corner, drinking my coffee. As far as looks, um, I look basically like me IRL, but just maybe like 15, 20 years older, but I'm still like pretty athletic and really good shape. I work out a lot just so I can keep up with the city and, you know, I, I've got a lot of bags. My eyes are super dark. I got wrinkles. I'm very stressed. My hair is already mostly like grayish white. So. Yeah. And especially in this setting, like uh, a hundred year old would look more like a 50 year old just because you can replace parts as you get older. So you'll sure. probably live for, you know, you'll be working like this for another hundred years. Woo! Looking forward to it. I love what I do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Uh, I can go ahead and go. Um, I, I also realized I didn't do a good job of explaining the character for so Jace. <laughs> So Jace Flankman, uh, I, I, I know you said it might be snowing. It, what is the weather right now? Like, what would it be? Oh, it, it's brisk, but it's not snowing. Uh, okay, but it is like just... winter kind of all like, okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 cold in April here in Okay, Florence. okay, okay, understood. Uh, the only re Basically, Jace is a, physically, think of like, the kingpin in Spider-Verse. Like he's just this, he's this large intimidating figure, but he also, it's not necessarily muscle. It's just, he's just a large figure. Uh, he walks with a slight stoop. His head doesn't seem like it's quite the right size. Like it might, might be a little too small, a little too big, but he can't see cause he's wearing a large coat, overcoat. Um, but he comes in, he has a, he does ha seem to have a pleasant demeanor. Uh, he comes by the coffee shop and, uh, as the construct comes over to him, he just ha holds up a finger and he's just like, decaf, please. Um, and as the as the construct, you know, provides him his drink, um, he, wherever the money needs to go appropriately, and he could, if anybody's paying attention, he spends probably a little too much time kind of observing it and its movements, almost as like a, a mechanic might listen to a car that's you know nearby that's running to see if it's if it sounds like it's doing a good job yeah um, but there is than, no decaf so you're just there is no have, such thing as decaf yeah, you're just gonna have caffeinated <laughs> he, uh, he, real, he realized that he after asked that and you know you see him pull out a small pad of paper and he writes down a little note and he puts it back and he takes his unfortunately caffeine yeah. later and for for the exchange of currency you just place it on the table it will pick it up and uh slip it into one of its eye sockets and you hear a little bit of jingling uh, <laughs> does change come it. out the other eye no <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like a coin slot in the side of their head yeah exactly <laughs> it's a whole different uh meaning to you know seeing dollar signs in your eyes yeah <laughs> well yeah there you go um uh would um so jace is also a would would then as a member of the civil science recognize jace at all i would have been, he's a hard figure to miss so yeah. yeah he definitely works there also so absolutely you would recognize it's hard to miss him 
Suven is is kind of enraptured with um, his little experiment here with the with the painting and um, with the construct, and he looks over and sees Jason. walks over and he's like why do you um have your your work with your own hands are you asking uh it, why, Wait, why, is the contract doing the painting or are you doing the painting Sorry. the construct's doing the painting the construct yeah. he, he he uh uh basically uh Dr. Ben, they, he, um, they're, they're watching the construct try to like paint very badly on the canvas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. want to make sure, I, I, yeah, the same, same question then. He's like, why not with your own? Ah, this is not for me. This is for Francesco. He is artwork and artist. So I am, um, mm, mm, um, testing out, uh, uh, uh uh, calibrations, diagnostics in the in the head, yeah. And as you say that, he pulls out his little pad and paper. And how's that going? I it is seeing things and trying to paint it. Yeah, you see, I he's he's, he's, he's jotting things another. down. He's like, interesting. Are you keeping diligent notes? I uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, red, and there's a little um. Um, smaller servitor that kind of hops him to his shoulder. It's just a skull, like a servo skull, but with legs. Um, and um, it just kind of starts handing out like um, a red colored card and like, uh, I accidentally missed a meeting. Uh, no, uh, blue. Ah, yes, yes, I am taking notes on uh, calibrations and artistic references. Well, good. P puts it back and then the, the servitor hops away. Yeah, he just he just kind of nods along and he's he, he's kind of slightly deep in thought, like doing his own thing. And he's just like, I would like to talk to you about your findings later. If I remember them, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> well then, let me actually. This would be green. Ah, uh, there's a, uh, <laughs> and. <then laughs> Puts it away and like there's this a big big kind of like a sorting machine like like sorting cash, um and it's just sort of like ah that, that comes standard on all these on these constructs. <laughs> beautiful, Francesco, beautiful. You got to give them a little confidence, you know. Just just uh, make make sure they they just keep, keep at it, you know. It just he just nods at this point and keeps writing down. He's like, hmm, if you say so. And Teddy, your intro. Uh, yeah, so um, Teddy sort of uh, just shuffles in. He looks really tired. Uh, just very large, like obviously athletic man. Um, uh, pale skin uh, from being under the armor. Most of the time he's outside. Uh, sort of, you know, that... that, that surprisingly well cut hair with that like sort of well behaved like swoop over the forehead um in a in a that dull blue jumpsuit but it's uh it's strange because it has somewhat colorful embroidery coming up from the cuffs um his legs above his boots are a little bit wet it seems like he's been outside of florence on some sort of investigatory mission he just looks tired and he doesn't want to be here and he sits down knowing that he's going he wants an espresso he's getting a coffee <laughs> he's going to drink it <laughs> oh yeah delicious aroma. I'm sure. um, it's like right in the middle old, of the room no problem good old chest coffee it's great yeah <laughs> it's chestnut. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, oh God! God. <laughs> it's, it comes into the middle of the room, sets his coffin down, sits next to it, and accepts his cup. 
Okay. The chair creaks. <laughs> you guys, like, it's um, a little bit of wind picks up, uh, moving through everyone's hair, and you kind of feel that tingly sensation uh, as uh, what feels like cold air, like, kind of kisses uh, down your, your back, that kind of shivering. Um, you see a little bit of light as the sun is, is starting to get a little bit over the cusp of the uh, buildings across the street, uh, catching um, a what looks like a discarded chandelier uh, on top of one of the roofs, glass uh, adorned on it. Uh, and it creates this kind of prismatic rainbow um, on one of the tables nearby. Uh, twinkling as it does with these beautiful colors expanding out to the rest of the cafe. Um, it's around this moment that um, uh, Dr. Van, your construct um, movements become elegant, uh, less rigorous and robotic, um, painting uh in mixing colors um that go well beyond your programming um it is beautiful um what starts to look like a uh a dark-skinned woman with with red hair uh starts to be created on this canvas Francesco, you, you genius, uh, uh, that, that person, almost looks a little familiar. Uh, uh and it takes a good look at it, um, and like, they're like, you can't see under the mask, but like, there's like maybe <laughs> cogs turning here and there, but then he's just like, ah, put it into yellow, and ro ro I exhibited abnormal, but positive. Reflexes, and there you go. Oh, Dr. Flakeman, so good to see you. Come here. Oh, it hasn't been a lot of days. Minutes. Uh, <laughs> green. Ah, so it has. It's a hey, real quick question. Did the, uh, did the other construct seem to come more animated with the arrival of sunlight? No, it rose. It, it remains in its corner, uh, okay. keeping your coffee warm. Okay, just so it was just this one moment. Okay, so that Flagman notices that and definitely takes down notes. Uh, I'm going to uh, go. Go ahead. I was just, uh, Sophie notices the uh, that it, that it moves more elegantly and stuff, uh, but seems unimpressed. <laughs> I, I would. It's trite. Teddy looks up at it. A brief flash of fear crosses his face, and he looks back down at his coffee. Is this something that other members of the Citadel have discovered before, or is this something that like none of us expected? N not in the sense of like like Ruho groundbreakings. It more like how how abnormal is this that um it has been just discovered or yeah constructs yeah. have the intelligence of a uh, vacuum cleaner like one of those uh, ones like that is pretty much you program it to farm to clean uh to potentially take care of kids so it's probably kind of uh more so like our mid-range or advanced ai in this era um nothing too sophisticated and certainly not able to do anything creative or innovative um if it paints it's because you taught it to paint you yeah. gave it the programming to recreate a picture but so okay um other quick question is it illegal for these constructs to be any smarter than vacuum cleaner <laughs> like, uh it's impossible to make them smarter uh, than a vacuum cleaner because you're not because technology has because electronics 
uh, have gone the wayside, especially they're in the junk pile now. What you're working with is more like the uh, the World War II like computers, where it's gears and such, um, mimicking the actions and programming uh, stuff. So it's not computer chips; it's gears and tubes uh, and yeah, uh, and tubes yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, in trying to uh put in processes that are complex uh in the way that creativity or true like artificial intelligence just into the back of a, a construct is is nigh impossible at this point in time so what ben is going to do then while um he's looking at um this going on and like has kind of uh, deposited that that those findings in their sort of like um other construct they're going to take out what looks like a like, kind of like um the equivalent of like a scomp unit or like a, like a, uh, um, basically it's a neural interface basically. And it's like, hmm, I'm going to, um, uh, pick, pick it apart for one moment. And I'm going to use my, um, necro neurological programming. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to inspect the command and kind of see if there's any, if I can track any sort of like pattern of behavior starting from when, um, it first started to paint towards now as as it begin to improve and actually develop something um if, if, if there's any check with that that would need yeah uh first check um we'll say for this this is this is going to be a difficult thing so we'll we'll do two consequences for this uh if you want like all the information um so the first consequence is doing it uh without damaging it uh and the second one is actually knowing what's going on okay real quick is so, there any way that i can assist him at all mm. I, I, I don't know if that functions or not <laughs> so do we uh, so not we in also, this case now okay. should we also draw our cards um, yes, when the first day, when you uh, when you're ready for the day, you take your first breath, which is six cards. Uh, okay, the only so, time uh, it changes is if you accidentally draw the king uh, with your first breath, and then you just put it back. Six. And we can look at these, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're your hand. It's kind of uh, your spoons for the day when you wake up and you're like, I can't talk today. Like uh, you have right. no social cards, or you're like. You know what? Today is really my work day. You look at your cards and you see a lot of steam in your hands. You're like, this is definitely a mental day. Um, so yeah, it's kind of mimics so, that uh, outlook for to a day. Okay. Um, so I drew a Joker, um, mm -hmm. and I know that that helps me. Um, yeah, right? that's always a success, no matter what suit. So that that is a guaranteed one success. I would prefer to keep Francisco, Francesco in check. So I'm going to use my Joker for the first um, consequence. All right. So you can play two cards uh, because you're trained in it. Um, mm -hmm. I assume. I am. I'm trained. I'm trained in it. Um, Excellent. Put, yes. So you, yeah. yeah. So you have one one success already. So you can negate one of those two consequences. So you need one more to. Um, to get both cons to to null both consequences, and this is spades, right for gear. Mm -hmm. Then um, the highest I have would be a four. Would that okay. do it? Yeah. Any so any uh, if you play a suit that matches the action you're taking, you get a success no matter what numeric value it is. The other way to oh, gain okay. success is is to get an eight with a combination of cards, or a sixteen would be two successes. I'm gonna use my two then. Yeah, there you <laughs> That's go. Okay, two two spades. <laughs> That's very cool. I like that. I'm just yeah. <laughs> no, and that's good to know that. Um, yeah. All right. So yeah. So I guess I succeed on both um, consequences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you carefully meticulously go through the gears and the tubes and the pipes, uh, smoke buffeting your your face or most of steam. Um, <laughs> there is a disassociation between its actions and what the programming is um the programming is the same uh it's almost like uh looking at your computer and you see that the script is saying it to do something but your computer for some reason is doing something completely different um there is no 
correlation between its programming and what its actions are at this point in time. The muscles and the the structures, the skeletal movements are uh, are pretty much doing their own thing. Um, and as it continues to paint this picture, um, we see that there are now two dark-skinned, um, red-headed uh, individuals staring at each other, each one with kind of these uh, freckles on their faces. It's almost like someone looking in a mirror with a hand uh, pressed against it, uh, uh, assumingly kind of touching uh, their reflections uh, hands. Ven is going to pull um, Teddy and Officer Bateman from their chairs and like do a quick inspection. Uh, you, you and you, come, come. I need you to. Uh, and um, definitely holds up the painting to both of them and like, what, what, what did, what did Francesco get the references for these? Also, hi, apologies, officers. Oh, uh, I, I did not look at your badges before I did this. Uh, my, <laughs> my apologies. Uh, I, ooh, um, <laughs> unexpected. Uh, you wouldn't have to happen to know two, um, people of this, um, identification description? Uh, I'm gonna, like, flip to a blank page in my notepad and start taking notes on this. Uh, do I recognize them? Probably not. No, uh, but for Teddy, uh, if you would like, uh, mm -hmm. you can play a Steam card to remember something. Okay. Um, Steam is clubs. I have no. I have no clubs. Teddy is very tired. <laughs> he marches through the night. He is getting his. This isn't his first cup of coffee for the day. This is his last cup of coffee yeah. before he goes home and sleeps off the march. I assumed you're not trained in reasoning. No, no, I didn't. I didn't take any. Um, yeah. I I have uh, <laughs> readiness. <laughs> yeah, that that won't work on here. That, so that that's fine. Uh, even if you weren't trained in it, or if you didn't have any spades, you could have potentially like played an eight uh, or a joker uh, of any other card, but. I don't think you have that in your hand at this moment. Yeah, it sounds like. Teddy shrugs off. Um, yeah. So after Ben's you... hand, and like grunts almost aggressively, like. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> and if you can imagine, like you know that feeling where you're trying to remember a song, it's at the tip of your tongue, and you know that it's important, uh, and that it will haunt you for your next couple of days until you figure out what it is. That's that's what you feel looking at this person. There's there's a, a resemblance. There's there's kind of those those mental sparks in your head that are screaming at you. We know this person. We have seen this person, but it's just like there's no connection between the synapses, and there's no there's nothing. Nothing comes to mind about the why. I blame the wretched coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, th I think Sophie now noticing, that, you know, that there's a small gathering around this this construct now is going to get a little bit interested. Uh, she'll she'll leave her table, set her little drone down, uh, and uh, take a couple steps, and then quickly turn back around and go. Roomba, we talked about this. Don't drink the coffee. You can't handle coffee. It it messes with your gears. Just leave it alone. Uh, and there's this little spider drone looks disappointed as, you know, like the, the legs just kind of lower down a little oh. bit. Uh, and, and Sophie walks over and is like, huh, uh, so what are we all, um, what are we looking at? Uh, uh, kind of like, like not sure if they should, he should, they should say anything. Um, Vince is sort of like, would you happen to know what these two individuals in, in the painting, my, my, <laughs> Francesco, um, Perhaps a lovely uh, couple or, or, or family members in um, in the crowd today, and um, got a little excited. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I I don't recognize those. I don't recognize people in in general. I, I just don't do people. But um, maybe you've got like a loose wire or something in here. Uh, could be. Do you do you have anybody uh, in your lab that would 
people pull pranks on you, they may have programmed them to do something other than they, they normally do. This is why I don't people people play pranks on me all the time. So I why I work by myself now. A prank? Ah, um, you know what? That yeah, possible, definitely possible. There could be a prank. Um, you know what? Why don't I take them back to the lab right now? Um, See, yep, yeah, you know this is just typical. Uh, people are people are horrible, and they will play pranks on you uh, because they're jealous of your abilities. So, um, I'm not surprised. They are jealous. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, people come to me and say, "Van, you're so good with the dead people. It's 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 really ridiculous. I wish I could be like you." And, and you know, I don't, I don't, I don't cheer them up or anything, so they get mad and storm off and whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah. I I I, I understand that. Um, I have similar experiences. Well, I mean, usually it's what they're thinking. They they don't really say that to me, but I know they're thinking it. So, I, can you read I minds? Get that. Can you read my mind? Uh, n no, not not really. You're legally I obligated to, to to tell me if you can read my mind. If you if you can read minds. <laughs> uh, no, I, I I can't read your mind. I I can read body language though. Uh, and you know, that certain people when they when they are jealous of my uh superior intellect they you know they just have they they hold themselves a certain way i'm gonna like adjust how i'm standing to be as unreadable as possible <laughs> <laughs> like straight up see see like, like this one this this one's feeling guilty now because because they're jealous <laughs> i'm i'm not jealous of anyone i'm very self-confident all I see is two people doing a staring contest. But, uh, eh, what am I to say? Is there any way, I don't know if this is how this works or not, could I play um, my Jack to figure out who this is in this picture? Since it's um, getting to know, like, the slums and the dark areas of your city. Could I, would that help at all? Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to play the Jack specifically, but now that you bring up this background, um, we, we can definitely say that you can play a steam card, uh, reasoning would be the, the skill as you try to recollect mm -hmm. why this person is important. Uh, well, I will play, I have a seven, but not an eight. I almost have two successes. I haven't, I have <laughs> enough for one success. I'll play my ace. Excellent. All right. Is that, will that do it? Yeah, that's all you need, one success. Um, so looking at this person, yeah, it, it kind of comes into your mind um, as you flip through your files and everything. And there is uh, a woman uh, who matches this description. Um, they are a criminal, um, definitely leader of a small group of individuals um, uh, kind of doing, performing illegal activities uh, in an organized way. Um, they call her Rose. I will definitely share that with everyone around. Mm. And uh, in an way. I, I'll say I, I need to confiscate this painting as evidence. <laughs> That's funny. You're, you're, you're funny. You, you know that. <laughs> it wasn't a joke, sir. Oh, uh, I actually need that painting because this um, this is a really interesting discovery that the citizen will, will probably be very interested in. How about I take it for now and then I'll give it back to you when I'm done? I'll make a copy of it and then return this to you. Oh, I, um, counter offer. You I'm already like taking painting. the picture. <laughs> yeah, he's just they're, they're just rushing, rushing um, behind you, kind of like they're walking on these like pincers, sort of like um, 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 um mechanicus from for from for boy kids. Like they're not even walking. They're like ah, hold on, counter offer, counter offer. Uh, you take the painting and I come with you and help you with whatever this is, and then I um I get the painting back. That sounds great. Pinky promise? Yes. <laughs> Great question, I don't have pinkies. 
We'll just shake on it. Uh, you have hands? I I have hands, yes. Okay. Um and <laughs> they um they just put on their gloves and then just just, just shake and then put their gloves away. <laughs> Yeah, and like before grabbing this construct, like it, it looks like it's lost whatever creativity it had. Like it's just now like slapping paint onto the <laughs> things. And so... Oh, Francesco, you did your work. You beautiful, magnificent machine. I see you at the lab. Dr. Flinkman, are you coming? Uh, I would say, are, 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 okay, you're, actually, I would say Dr. Flame has probably already started walking back to the Citadel. <laughs> like, his oh. back is towards you. Like, he's just, he, like, once the once the construct went back to normal, he kind of lost complete interest and started walking back to the Citadel. Because <laughs> it's time yeah. to go to work. Uh, I, th I think Sophie has scooped up Roomba, the, the drone, and is, uh, uh, following uh, Officer Bateman and uh, Doctor Venn, uh, just just curiously, uh, be because she wants to make sure that it, uh, if it is a prank, that it's known that you know she was the one that called that. I'll also I'll wave at Teddy and say I just need I'm actually just so we're clear I'll go ahead and have everybody come with me to take some notes, do some questioning down at the station at the Citadel. So if everybody could just come with me, please. Uh, Teddy will uh, accompany all of them, but he's staying close to the painting construct, trying to get a glimpse in the eye area to see it. Just watching really carefully for some sort of spark to appear. You can um, uh, push uh, your roll. So it's basically you would uh, discard one card from your hand and blind draw uh, from the top of the deck. Okay. If so you want cool. to do that. Yeah. Um, that two of hearts wasn't getting me anywhere. No, yeah. So the the kind of um, negative aspect of that is not only do you discard one of your spoons, uh, mm -hmm. but then you discard another card that might have helped you in the future. So both of those cards are now discarded. Okay, so a five of diamonds wasn't going to help me. No, because you need something steam mental capacity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Steam is, and steam is clubs. Yeah, it's just, yeah. it's that, you know, you, you kind of get like a, you, you know the rhythm of the song, you know? It's just like those words. If I can just figure out the words, maybe I could link it to something. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this this was, you know, I think it's really reflective. I saw these cards and I knew where Teddy had been. <laughs> I was actually going to say, um... Because Flankman, if if the contract is also walking to the Citadel, he's there. That means you're watching you walk by Flankman. He goes, uh, what seems to be bothering you, Teddy? I'm sorry, I missed the last, like, three oh, words that you said. Sorry, no, yeah, yeah, basically, he, because you kind of both walk, he sees you also eyeballing the construct. Like, he sees you scrut, like, your face squishing in a different way. He's just like, what seems to be the problem, Teddy? I don't like it when constructs seem too lifelike. My job takes me close enough to them. Hmm. Hard to tell the difference sometimes, isn't it? He kind of, he goes, well, I don't have that problem, but then again, I've seen their lack of innards. We have expressions they do not. We well, cover their faces to try to Make them less personable. What was that back there then? He looks through his own notes and he's like, I intend to find out. Mm. I don't like it. He goes, he goes, I have a feeling sabotage might be at play here. Hmm. But then again, could be faulty workmanship on whoever created them. I don't need them getting too ambitious. There needs to be a difference. 
As I said, don't need anybody mistaking me for one of them. The job's close enough. Yeah, Flankman looks you up and down. He's like, hmm. You might have, um, I'm trying I'm try, I'm try to think, like, what would be the, what would be the, the this I think it's equivalently sized, but different body dynamics. <laughs> oh, well, I was thinking more like, like, okay, like, not, not body dysmorphia, but if you think of yourself as looking, seeming more like a construct, what would be, like, the terminology for that? Oh, <laughs> like, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's not, you know, it's like, hmm, I wonder what you see when you look in a mirror. But uh, well, once again, like you're like this lean. But you're lean. also noticing that Teddy is carrying this coffin on on his shoulder, full of armor that covers up his humanity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I get that. He's yeah, because he sees you looking like a normal person. Yeah, of mm -hmm. course. Correct. Um, but yeah, but as far as like you see, you're like our lean, mean, like muscular thing. Like uh, Flankman is just kind of rotund. Like he's just a very large mass of a man. Like you can't, mm -hmm. and his overcoat hides most of it. So he just looks like a, almost like a dark shadow, just kind of moving forward. Your, your silhouette. Oh, but yeah, except for his head, which once <laughs> the sun came out, he actually put some like a large visor on cause he doesn't care for sunlight directly in his That's eyes. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as soon as it started sparkling, he was like, ugh. <laughs> With his coffee. <laughs> you say like whoever who uh, like they'll find like inspect whoever made this this very badly built machine or whatever and it's it's just Ven. <laughs> Ven, uh, Ven. yeah I, he, he he was specifically <laughs> referring to you when he said it probably wasn't properly <laughs> but, but you're you're a little ways away so he wasn't saying that in front oh, of yeah. your face <laughs> mm -hmm. um i would like to as we're walking go over every single note that I have that might contain the name Rose or a last name or anybody that could give me any more information, like my seediest underbelly characters that I have some dirt on maybe. All right, if you wanna do that, why don't you give me a social test? This is gonna be a little bit difficult cause well, well so pretty much, the more successes you provide me, the more questions you get to ask concerning this person. Okay, so social? Yeah, and the only thing, so there is uh, one more consequence that's just kind of a flat consequence, and that is doing so without the uh, person figuring out that you are asking questions about them. Okay. Oh, like, oh, I get you. Oh, no. Okay, so what do I need to draw for this? Uh, this is hearts. Uh, yeah, oh, man. Do, uh, yeah, manipulation. I have zero hearts in my hand. Can I play a joker? Can I play my yeah. joker? Okay. Yeah, joker is always a success. Always okay. a success. That's the only thing I can play for this then. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> uh, so you're you're poking around and everything like that so that that is happening uh do you want to use your one success to ask a question or to ensure that your poking around doesn't uh cause whoever is cause rose or her affiliates to know that you're poking around that's interesting because i don't know if she's aware that this was happening about her Mm -hmm. I think I would want to stay as undetected as possible. So I don't want them to find out that I'm poking around yet. All right, cool. Excellent. Yeah, so you you get some basic information uh, beyond what you had on the case file. Like Rose, um, she has this like group, this gang, uh, pretty much. Uh, they say she came from outside the wall. Um, so a very tough cookie, uh, did a, uh, a couple of years, uh, in the techno power division of Florence, uh, before being, uh, dishonorably discharged, uh, and has been making her own way for the last couple of years. Uh, she's about a century old. Love it. I'm so good at my job. You are. <laughs> Okay, I guess I could run everyone down on what we might be expecting without giving them too much information. Just since they're all involved now and yeah. seen this woman. Uh, 
Ah, good, good, good to know. Uh, quick question. Quick, uh, quick question. Yes, o officer. Ah, uh, what was that entire part? <laughs> that last part. I. We're dealing with uh, someone that came from outside of the wall. Outside so she... the wall, so of course, of course, of course. I know everything. Actually, keep going, please. <laughs> she has uh, worked for the Citadel before, but she was discharged dishonorably. Mm -hmm. And now she um, is kind of doing her own thing. I'll leave out the, um, intentionally leaving out that she's like in a gang and stuff. I'm just gonna say she's like on her own now. So the construct must recognize one of my former colleagues. Ha! Now it makes sense. Uh, uh, how long ago was she expelled? About thirty years. About thirty years. Ah <laughs> uh, no, uh, Francesco, um, I um, dug out of the trash about five days ago. So <laughs> no. That's impossible. Maybe the, the computer. Eh, the, that's that's. Can you show uh, me the? Guess. Can you show me the trash you dug him out of? Oh, do you have any information on <laughs> <laughs> where I dug up the painting robot skeleton? Uh, so you would have probably all 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 cadavers and bodies are delivered unto the citadel. Uh, so you mm -hmm. probably would have grabbed it from uh, the piles of dead bodies that uh, they have delivered to them on a daily basis. Okay, file. so it's still re so still recent, but um, and like they're trying to they're trying to remember like ah, orange. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, pile of bodies in the citadel. Um, about five days ago, they stood down there daily. I'm very excited to meet this former colleague of mine. <laughs> All I can say. <laughs> we'll uh, see how that goes. I think Sophie chimes in uh, just kind of out of nowhere because um, she's been quiet the whole time and then just sort of pops up, uh, possibly startling uh, whoever she pops up next to. Um, and uh, she's like, oh, uh, somebody who got kicked out of the Citadel. That that sounds like somebody that I actually wouldn't mind talking to. Um, we can arrange that, maybe. No promises. Well, we're we're going to go find find her, right? Uh, I'll have to see what I can do. But yes, I would like. I would like to find her if we can. Oh, if anybody well, here well, let's could help, going. yes. If anybody here knows anything about a rose that was discharged from the citadel, that would be very helpful. Yeah, and specifically the use my techno power screen? division of techno the military. Power division. Yeah, so not a nerd. <laughs> Is this something that I can <laughs> use my streetwise jack for? Mm hmm. Great. Uh, actually, no. So for this one, if you're, if, it depends on how you're going about it. If you're trying to just go into the streets, much like uh, your companion did, yeah, streetwise, something like that. If you're trying to uh, research more so in the techno uh, division, oh. uh, then that would be a gear skill, reasoning or investigation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, just gear because you don't have anything specific. No oh, gear. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, gear is organizational. Oh, gear I, for the Technophant is all what they wear. Yeah, yeah, it's all all fighting and stuff like that. So it'll probably just be one one card draw that you would have. But that's that's spades. I have spades. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can play it if you want. All you need is one success. Okay. Uh, I was also gonna say, um, I'm Teddy. Wherever you are, more than likely, I'm where you are, Teddy. So I'm there to help you. I've got some of my cards also. So. I can help you with whatever investigation you're doing because uh, uh, Flankman's just as curious about this as you are. Okay, so I only need one success. Yeah, for this for this instance, yes. So I wouldn't want to waste two successes on something, even if I had a skill. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so I'll play the seven of spades. All right. I also have a six and a two, which I would want if I wanted two successes, right? Yeah. 
Yes, so. Very pretty cards. Um, yes, so. Is the name becoming any more clear to me now that I've been told who she is? Um, so for this, you're you're looking at the 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 you're asking around for the techno power division and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. And Rose indeed was the code name for um, uh, a techno font uh, in the army about thirty years ago. Oh really? Uh, yeah, she had uh, her code name was Rose just because her uh, techno powered armor was kind of a dark crimson. Um, and she used a, a very large, uh, jagged sword. Um, it looked like kind of, uh, part of sheet metal with rust and such, just kind of curved and, 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 uh, very sharp. The thing was easily like 200 pounds, uh, to lift. How do you um, feel about her? What's her reputation? People, yeah, people, uh, she was, she was not well liked. She, um had her own way of doing things um and uh, it just kind of graded on some individuals um a, a lot um prone to risk uh taking and, and such like that uh not well received with orders so not like creative solutions that were outside of orders, but more just doing, just taking risk for risk's sake. Yeah, yeah. She she just seemed to be like this adrenaline junkie. Not clever adrenaline junkie. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, and she disappeared after she was expelled. Uh, I wouldn't say disappeared, but just kind of went into an occupation that was a little bit less out in the open. Mm. Okay. Does that resolve uh, Teddy's feelings of not being able to figure out who it was? Um, no, so that, that's kind of uh, what you got in your mind uh, from the organization, though that itchy uh, feeling uh, with the music is still in your head. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um. Yes. Uh, am I still with the party, or...? Yeah, we'll, we'll say you guys kind of did some poking around a little bit and kind of met back up. Okay. Um, I have a question. I was going to ask... Sorry. Um, could I use something like, like investigation uh, to see if Sophie has uh, uh, maybe spotted someone fitting that description? Uh, out in like the scrapyards and stuff while while she was looking for parts. See if she might know like have a lead on where to look for this person. Yeah. Okay. Uh this would be two successes required. We're so right. smart, guys. <laughs> we're gonna solve this like today. We're, we're like investigating so hard right now. We <laughs> we're really this. doing it. God, it's like we're experienced players. <laughs> <laughs> uh so question um so i've got two uh two clubs um so i i could either play those two and get two successes but also if i played a six of clubs and a two of something else would that also be two successes uh yeah so uh successes accumulate so if you have the the two clubs uh for this since it's a mental task you would have two successes and if their numeric value together was an eight that would be three successes okay um well what i'm wondering is like if, if i just save one of them and just play oh, yeah. the six of clubs and then a two of something else would that be yeah two? yeah that's yeah that's totally that's totally doable and good awesome it's a good way to I'm... kind of spread out your successes yeah um so i'm gonna play the six of clubs and the two of diamonds uh, so steam and uh, what was the other one? Steel. Uh, for a total of eight. Excellent. Uh, and then those two, they, do they just go on the bottom of my deck at that point? Uh, they they go discard pile. Discard pile. Okay. Yeah, every every card that you use, just pop it on over to a discard pile. Perfect. Um, so you're you're going to the junkyard and such to to chat people up about like this person um yeah well just um 
not so much chatting people up as as trying to remember if I've seen somebody mm. that might match that description or uh, if I like go to a, a common spot where I look for parts, uh, you know, see if maybe they're poking around there as well. Uh, or I suppose if, if uh, as as a last resort, Sophie might talk to some, to a, a person uh, and ask some questions. Yeah, you. You recall that there was a technosophist named Tulip uh, with red hair, freckles, um, well built and such. Um, yeah, you're you're pretty much like you. You might have saw her like maybe a month ago while poking around in the junk pile. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sophie will bring that up to to Officer Bateman, um, and. Yeah, uh, you know, I I, um, I don't remember seeing a rose, but I, I did see a uh, a tulip. Uh, looked very similar. Uh, you know, maybe it's a maybe a cousin, uh, or you know, somebody like that might know um, might know more about it. Maybe we we could go try to you know, find where they are. Yeah, um, that sounds like a great idea. There, there's two sort of similar looking people in in the painting, maybe one of them is this tulip person. Possible twins. Or someone that disguises themselves. I it like could, it. It could be the whole like flower th uh, theme. Maybe they just, you know, change the, the name of the, the flower when they're talking to different people. Uh, and, and Sophie just has this like look of like, I helped. <laughs> I did something. Yeah. Technosophist for the win. <laughs> like very overly proud of herself uh, for this this little contribution. I was going to go ahead. Frantically well, taking no this. wonder. And no wonder everyone is so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> the way you contribute. <laughs> of course. Maybe they just don't like the smug look on your face every time you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's actually it, but <laughs> it's like to you, it's more of a "Hey, I'm proud of myself." To everyone else, is like, "Look at that smug ass." Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a that's Florence's ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's Florence's ass. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, before we all kind of group back together, um, Flankman would have, like, I guess really he would have been interested to see if did the construct actually go follow its orders to go back to the citadel, or did it take a detour, or did anybody try to intercept it before it reached the citadel? No, it. Uh, it did its, its job. Yeah, it did its job. Just okay, what, once he did. felt like it was being watched by other Citadel members, that's when he would have turned around and like probably headed back mm -hmm. or try to figure out where everybody else is to try to figure these things out. I'm also just in a hurry to get to the Citadel so I can start going through files and I'm excited. I love doing this. Yeah, like I'm ready. To You're like a mystery, an investigation. Yeah, I get Wee. to do work. Or actually, I was gonna say, or is there any, other than what um, Dr. Vin did earlier, is there anything else Flakeman could do with the inner workings of a construct uh, to try to figure out what, who, who could have potentially sabotaged it or hacked it or whatever? Yeah, it doesn't, uh, from from uh, your colleagues' description, it doesn't look like there was any hacking, just kind of a disassociation maybe. It's almost like watching the final moments of a body like twitch and move. Yeah. Uh, it's like essentially kind of like muscle, that. like because it's, yeah. it's totally not unheard of for a, I mean, for a construct to have muscle memory of thing. I mean, like into like you know, delayed neural reactions going mm -hmm. through the body. Okay, so that seems not completely out of place. Is okay. Here's a better question: Is there any way to keep track of where this body could have come from? Like when they're dropped off, or their names or their bodies are just dropped off? Like yeah, I mean, it's they they do it specifically so that 
you know, they want to keep you can't trace them. Yeah, it's kind of that whole thing is like you don't want people trying to find their dead mom or sister. Or yeah, whatever. and so you said their skin is tanned and stretched, so it's unrecognizable at that. Exactly. Point. Yeah, they they remove everything that could give a distinction about who this corpse was in yeah. the past. Yeah, and, and I'm sure even if even if DNA testing existed, they don't do that either. It's just like no, nah. yeah, there's there's no <laughs> DNA testing, none of that. Okay, I didn't Pretty think strange. so. I just I just want to make sure that wasn't a thing in this world. Okay, you so yeah, at that point. Yeah, no, uh, we have enough issues right now with people doing creepy things with corpses that they're obsessed with. Well, I was gonna say, I mean, we're we're all like, here's my question. Um, because this this stuff's been happening for, you said some of these people are over a hundred years old. Some of us remember what it was like before the creepy constructs, even though they've been around for decades now, right? Yeah. So, okay, so some of us just kind of got used to it. I would say for the most part, Flakeman has absolutely gotten used to it. Uh, so he's not nearly as creeped out as everybody else is. They're just a machine in his eyes. Yeah, like it's it's no different than like you go to a bank and it's like the bank machine, right? It's no different. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, he's like, we same. took, we, we were like, oh, we needed, you know, a neural pathway to send electrical signals. We don't have access to that technology anymore. We're using dead bodies. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's he's like, and uh, it was either that or feed them to the birds. So we figured a better way of using them. Um, okay, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of stuff within his abilities of what he could try to do. Uh, you get. Yeah. Um, do we want to go ahead and take a, a break then? Um, yeah. Take we can a, think about what will happen next. Yeah, a break while while people are thinking about it. We're coming up on that time, so yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and take a 15 minute break. Give everybody a chance to stretch their legs. Grab a. Grab some beverages, snacks, whatever you'd like to do. Um, but then make sure you're back here in 15 minutes and we'll we'll find out how this investigation uh, is going. So we'll be right back. See you soon.
And there we go. Sorry about that. The button wasn't wanting to push. We're back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome, in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We're back investigating this crazy mystery that started off with a cup of coffee from the chest cavity of a construct. <laughs> That's how Terrible cup in. of coffee. Yeah. Best options. coffee I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it may or may not have cinnamon in it. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, I, I thought we established it didn't have cinnamon. Oh my god, does it have cinnamon in it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how you how I TPK a party with cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon oh, in a <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this is you guys have uh, encountered a construct that did something abnormal, and now you have this uh, canvas uh, with this red-haired, dark-skinned woman with freckles. Uh, gazing at themselves in what could be a mirror, or maybe it's like a twin or something. It's hard to tell. Uh, and it's also some like slotches of paint when the thing just started reverting back to its original programming. Um, you guys discovered that Rose uh, looks like this person, someone in the underground of Florence, as well as a woman named Tulip, uh, who appears to have been a technosophist. Um, so Rose hung it, really? Rose the Technophant hung out with Lilac <laughs> Tulip Tulip the Technosophist <laughs> supposedly yeah. hung out with Rose the Technophant. Mm -hmm. Nanny Techno was, uh, Cuddle. Did did we <laughs> did we get a description of what Tulip looks like? Uh, well, you were the one uh, kind of uh, figuring out um, if this person seemed familiar, uh, and you remember someone who looked like this person in the picture uh kind of shuffling through the junk pile uh not too long ago okay so what's next <laughs> uh dr van um re um like gets a little nudge from his like um shoulder mounted uh construct and um a um i think it's uh i think it was yellow that um was put uh dr flinkman i just realized something do you uh, uh, I, I i i it seems that my construct painted a wonderful pair of ladies on a painting fascinating ha, let's keep this for later uh and for the uh <laughs> and, and the flinkman's like oh god you're here again <laughs> what are you going to do to keep that construct from doing that again uh come again they aren't supposed to do that I assume you'll be fixing it oh well um... there's actually <laughs> nothing to fix it's what they do it's sort of like the last death throes of a human mind as it lets go of the, its last humanity. It's unfortunately a little bit more common. We try to get it out of the, before it goes out onto the streets. Dr. Vin Absolutely, must yeah. have taken a little bit, he must have been a little excited and brought it out early. Usually those kinks are worked out before they're put on the streets. These, these tests require very recent bodies uh, with re some remaining measure of um, uh, hippocampus activity in the brain. Um, it's called a salt rattle, if you will. Um, it's perhaps in the future I'll keep these uh, experiments uh, inside the citadel, but sometimes you need life reference uh, in the case of you know the painting. You know you have to capture life, and Francesco Fontino is a uh, uh, a special has a specialty in life capture. Let's say. Hmm. And at, the, and at this flagman does point out, he brings out his nose, he's like, and apparently the light of the sun helped activate it. That is unusual. And he writes, he's like, I've never... Hmm. Perhaps it's a trigger. If I was pranked, after all, perhaps that the trigger would be sunlight to indicate day, like a timer. Flight just goes indubitably. Are we all traveling as a group right now, or am I all? What are we doing? 
I think we're all together. I, I, yeah, I it sounds like you guys were together pondering yeah. this out. Yeah, are we, we just kind of like are we just like in the, now have we moved from the outside cafe to now we're like next to the water cooler at the citadel just kind of <laughs> just like you you guys probably you guys probably don't want to hang out at the citadel unless you're i mean the architects are used to it but uh burnt hair and skin and flesh has a very particular smell if you've ever been around it it's almost like yes. uh caramelized uh onions uh, with a tad <laughs> bit of, of cinnamon, kind of a sweetness on the edge of it. Um, Cinnamon's everywhere. Yeah, and that's that's what the it. whole <laughs> citadel smells like because the tanning process happens a couple floors underneath it. So but it, it just, still rises, yeah. Yeah, it smells. Uh, but hope, luckily, this place is one of the only places with electricity. So you see, like, uh, street lamps and all sorts of things. Like, this is it's kind of uh, reminiscent of the times when yeah there was electricity and power things and you weren't just seen by candlelight or torches uh or lanterns at night and we probably have some constructs on treadmills powering this place like rats in a like rats in a chair. yeah there is one of the more um uh kind of uh wealthy individuals in the town owns the power plant not too far on the northern section of uh of florence uh, quick so we're, note, we're, we I, hit uh, we hit ten retweets on the game tweet. So uh, hmm. uh, advantage went to a random player. I, I rolled and based on the order of the overlay that went to uh, Doctor Ven. So you've you've got an advantage now. And then at twenty Ooh. retweets, a disadvantage will go to a random player. Oh God! I hope it's oh, me. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, subscribers. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, as we get to the Citadel, I'm all business as usual. I go straight to the counter, whoever I know that could help me start flashing my badge at everyone, just saying I need information on this person that used to work here. And I would like to use my trace search to get as many files, any any possible, like, anything on this person yeah, that used to so work here. Yeah, you're, you're kind of going over to the militia office, uh, a place you are all too familiar with. Um, the secretary uh, has the typical uh, militia outfit. So uh, there's pictures in the quick star and stuff like that, but if it's reminiscent of the old Italian um, uh, kind of formal law enforcement wear. So it's like a cape uh, with black boots and, and, and black kind of shirt tucked in and uh, with some red highlights. It's very almost Renaissance-esque uh, where every person is, uh, of course, provided a sword. Uh, but, you know, you, you most of the time use your cudgel uh, or, or truncheon because it's, it's just more effective. Um, so before you, uh, you, um, you recognize Daisy, uh, who's a, re a kind of receptionist uh, officer here. Um, uh, she is a just kind of this this joy of sunshine uh as as you walk in it's it's very kind of it's a huge contrast compared to everyone else's mood in general florence uh as she's always smiling and just always seems to be happy to be here um she looks at you and she kind of like moves a little bit of a, a plate of what looks like coffee or something like that uh hand wrapped uh with kind of discarded newspapers i'll take one to be polite and like put it in my coat pocket for later thank you <laughs> yeah officer bateman um uh i made it myself so it, it took me some time it's almost like a, a month or two getting all the ingredients i need and i had to go outside of the wall so i hope you enjoy it I'll give you a thorough report on it later. Uh, that's like a too much? Maybe just like a, hey Daisy, I really liked it. Or, hey Daisy, uh, you got a haircut. Maybe it looks nice. You know? Did you get a haircut? I didn't get a haircut, but- It just looks nice. To... No, I did it. Uh, but thank you, it, it, thank you. It's- Well, it looks nice, not cut. Don't get it cut. Wait, so you prefer it not cut? Yes. Either way, okay. whatever makes you happy. I'll just eat the candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. That's, that's awesome. Excellent. Did you need anything? Can I help you with anything? I need so much. Okay, uh, well, I'm here for you. What can I, how can I help? I mean, I'm uh, coming to some curious um, construct activity this morning at a coffee shop. 
and this construct seemed to be triggered by sunlight and it painted this really beautiful picture i'll i'm not going to show them the picture they don't they don't need to know um but i need information on who we think the, is in the picture they go by the name of rose they actually used to work in the techno power division so anything oh. on a rose yeah i could bring the case file uh as well as uh any notes concerning this rose um okay uh if you just wait like five minutes i'm sure i can get all the paperwork for you that's that'd be great um okay well I'll just go ahead and sit on one of the benches i actually uh sewed a lot of the um the couches there myself um so if you enjoy it that's uh i try so hard not to look impressed but it, this is adorable <laughs> I'm gonna take another piece of candy just because I actually really liked it and just put it in my pocket. Yeah, she's like walking away, but she's looking back to see like how you respond to sitting like. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, uh, keep going. We're, we're we're all there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awkwardly, like. We're just following each other around. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Teddy. Yeah. Teddy takes a piece of candy. And, uh, well, I mean, he's wondering how he ends up with it, where everywhere you guys are, like. <laughs> we're, we're just so large. <laughs> you. Because he's always absent minded. He's like, what? where am I now? Oh, God, I'm turning into Dr. Vin. <laughs> <laughs> so if we take like three pieces of the. Of the Who of are the you candy. again? What, 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 what's that? <laughs> I don't think I tasted any cinnamon in them, but I can't mm. be sure. <laughs> yeah. Sophie starts eyeing the candy, uh, you know, warily now, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't eat this. <laughs> Everything is cinnamon. Oh my god. There's a good chance. Everything is trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Teddy, Teddy puts it in his, his pocket for later to have with a good cup of coffee. <clears throat> there After is no good sleep. cup of coffee, but. <laughs> You're just going to keep insisting the corpse coffee is good, but it's yeah. not what Teddy wants. <clears throat> Daddy's gonna get home and make himself what he wants. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just imagining like all the coffee is just like this warehouse of instant coffee from like hundreds of years ago that they just just never get through all of it. Yeah, like <laughs> they they probably have like a couple of coffee farms, but like it's not enough to sustain the population and really like it should probably be used for food but people need coffee um so in this society like scientists are revered they have taken the, the social place of the wealthy um and so like the good coffee is probably reserved for like the higher ups in the citadel uh of science those bastards i know <laughs> Where we're we're science <laughs> everybody else gets freeze dried yeah get yeah where would uh where, where would Venon and um uh Flinkman kind of reside oh, in that in the hierarchy? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you guys are <laughs> Oh no, we're asking questions that DM wasn't prepared for. You're, you're like, kinda here. like not quite an intern. Yeah, you're you so you 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 at least have enough freedom to do constructs and stuff like that, but you aren't making major decisions or any decisions. Yeah. Not yet. It's okay. like we, okay. oh, we've been here for 40 years, only 40 more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> Can I use the time waiting for Daisy? Uh, I'll like sit down and start going over notes again. Can I take a breath? Yeah, everyone can take a breath during this time to kind of just. <sighs> and so um, for a, a breath. Like I have. Um, yeah, for no, a sorry, breath. Yeah, you can you can discard one card if you'd like, and then you draw up to six. So it kind of lets you if there's a card in your hand okay. that you're like, eh, you can go ahead and discard it and then draw back up to six. So I can I can draw up to six or six more. If up I discard to the card. six. Yeah, you can never have more than six cards in your hand. Uh, so you are just kind of okay. refilling your your hand to six. Do I get to pick card? these or do I just draw from the top? Always draw from the top. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Come on. And if I have the, the specialty laws, we have seven instead of six. That that also applies, or or is it correct? On, on yeah, this? you would draw up to seven because you're better than other people. Three, four, five, <laughs> six. Oh, of course I am always. Yeah. 
There are um, more people than uh, some other yeah. people in this party. Mm, not bad, not bad. You have more spoons. <laughs> Um, you know what? Uh, are we in, so so? Uh, just, just asking for a quick reminder. Um, where are we in terms of location wise? Are we at the Citadel? Yeah, you're you're in the the area. So the Citadel encompasses like this whole courtyard and stuff like that. Yeah. In this very old Italian uh, government building, you are in the militia uh, headquarters here. Uh, which is where you know they keep all the <laughs> files and stuff like that. Files is a little bit more hard because everything's like paper, but they do the best. I they would can. like to speak to maybe my supervisor or at least like um, anyone who's um, really kind of works with me in the archives, and I want to do some manipulation um, on kind of gathering more information on the uh, techno power division, if that if, if that is available. Um, I'm going right. to use my four hearts because I'm skilled in manipulation, so that should be an on-max success, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you right, go so over to the kind of the archives of the Citadel, um, uh, several library rows uh, with constructs uh, keeping everything in order. Um, your advisor uh, is a older woman, uh, bald, um, with a very pale complexion. Uh, eyes are uh, pale as well. She almost looks blind. Uh, looks like the eyes have been replaced at some point in time uh, with patches of different colored skin on her body, uh, showing that she probably had her arm replaced or her fingers um, at one point in time or another. Uh, um, good afternoon, uh, advisor. I have a, a small request. Um, I'm uh, doing a little bit of a um, of collaboration with the militia, and I was wondering if um, we had any files on the uh, uh, someone named Rose, Techno Powered Division. You want to figure out an individual, and you hope that we have this information here in the archives. Do you think that this is an appropriate use of your time as well as mine? Um, the um, school servant on um, his other uh, shoulder um, taps him. In. Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, this is an mm. issue. Aquamarine. Ah. <clears throat> in, in the event of any um, private interest of Dr. Venn, I am to remind you of a code word, penumbra. <clears throat> yep, yep. Ah, penumbra. This. I will show you that... Uh, I do have relevant information regarding that project not too while back. I'm not going to say this is blackmail, but I'm also going to just give a reminder that I have been a very helpful individual to you in the past. So, Rose, please. Sophie just pops up like out of the blue goes, oh, extortion. Yeah, that's that, that's the word you're looking for, I think. I know this. <laughs> it's, it's more of a trade, really, than extortion. Because I'm, I'm going to forget this as, as soon as it gets taken out of my hands. So I will consider it a form of currency. Extortion currency. Fair point. Well, let me go get that file for you. Good, 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 good. Um, and I shall and like, place uh, this repeating crossbow upon my desk. It will be pointed at you, but it's not a threat or a admonishment of our relationship. It's just the best place to place it. Ah, understood. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as um, <laughs> good. as the visor walks away, they, um, um, they look to Sophie and like, I have no idea what this means. Looking to the card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sophie, so Sophie just shrugs and like, don't look at me. Uh, and then I think Sophie just picks up the repeating crossbow and starts looking at it. Uh, yeah. And trying to come a... up with like, improvements for it yeah it's a nice sleek looking thing like uh pretty heavy it looks like it has a draw power of about 300 pounds uh the crossbows are in these cartridges that you kind of put in like a a, a rifle uh yeah and and so when it pops up and shoots it expands uh into the air um to create kind of that normal crossbow feel um it's pretty it's pretty dope um 
it's got carved on the left of it big sass and there are several like notches that uh tally up to 20. uh okay could i okay. um could i try to modify this uh and and i can do that after uh any other talking that what needs mm -hmm. to happen i don't want to interrupt anyone yeah, anyone else doing... Uh, oh, we'll, we'll go back to uh, uh, Officer Bateman. And uh, Freddie, did you stay with uh, Officer Bateman? Because it sounds like um, Sophie and Dr. Venn uh, went to the archives. Um, yeah, I'll stick around with... Uh, I'll stick around with Bateman. Cool. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... That's, that's where the candy is, so Teddy... Will... Exactly. Teddy's not going to look at Daisy, but he, he will enjoy the taffy. Yeah. Uh, Daisy returns, um, uh, smiling, uh, with a folder in her hand. It looks like she, or someone put stickers on it. They're kind of like little sunflowers. Uh, and she, uh, quickly Precious, like, yeah. yeah, she, she gets back to her desk and puts it back into a, a boring folder and then places it on the desk. And you're sure this is everything? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm um I'm not gonna brag. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna brag. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um I I will do I have to bring this back to you at any certain time? Can I keep uh, it? Yeah, because otherwise I'd have to make a copy of it and I don't know, carpal tunnel syndrome. So, you know, it's starting to set in and my hands kinda hurt a little bit, so you should have that looked at. Well, yeah, I've been trying to do a little bit, some like arm stretches and such, and uh, it just gets in the way of my knitting. Uh, I'll probably have like compressor gloves, like knit it like a compressor gloves sometime later on. Uh, I'm very excited about that, but oh, don't worry about me, or unless you want to. I guess it's okay if you worry. Think about not think about me, but like just ha have me in your mind, but like not weird, but just like some concern <laughs> i'm like writing this all down in my notepad and now she's like well don't and i'm just like scratching it out and yeah, then rewriting like, uh, it and she's like well maybe in this i'll scratch something else out and just like don't don't worry like, about it it's fine Teddy, uh, Teddy okay. under his breath just sort of coughs up <clears throat> thoughts and prayers <laughs> <laughs> my biggest mystery of all will be daisy <laughs> Blankman actually pats the desk to get kind of get uh daisy's attention he's like don't be afraid to toot your own horn. No one else is going to do it. In public? I, is that a mod that you can get added to you? A horn? I mean, it's okay to, it's not, bra it's not bragging or boasting if it's true. Okay, Be proud well, of your accomplishments. I'm pretty good at organizing files and retrieving things. Kind of my specialty. Did that as fast as you could. <laughs> Uh, well, as I Daisy did, says I, that, I got Teddy water. unwraps another piece of candy and shoves it in his mouth, <laughs> smiling. <laughs> All right, Officer so Bateman, just nodding along at the uh, you know, it, it's not bragging if it's true, you know. So he's just doing the nodding and pointing, like, like, mm -hmm. yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> and now that Sophie has popped back up, <laughs> Flame is like, oh my god. I can't. <laughs> my heart. Why are you just here all of a sudden? Just, you got, oh you, he holds his, holds his chest. <sighs> you are. Just, just, hold, just holding this, this repeating crossbow, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you stole a repeating crossbow? That's what I was thinking. That's somebody else's. <laughs> No, no, not 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 stolen. She's she's uh, she's tinkering with it. She's making it better, and then she's gonna put it back. Okay, yeah. You can go ahead and make that uh, that play if you'd like. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I want to use like uh, electronic assembly mm -hmm. uh, to to make like a little arm uh, that can just grab like a spare magazine off the side of the gun and put it Ooh. back with where the empty one is, like automatically. Um, it should look god awful but be functional <laughs> yeah it does uh, it's, it's basically you know those youtube videos of the bad like robots uh you know they... it's like a michael reeves project <laughs> yeah it's just like <laughs> it's trying its best okay uh how many successes would i need for that 
Uh, we'll say for this, let's do, we, we could do one. It, it's okay. <laughs> I'll play my three of spades then. Um, so yeah, she'll do that uh, and then leave it on the counter with a note that says, here, I fixed it for you. Uh, you know, dash Sophie. Are are these repeating crossbows pretty uniform across mm -hmm. divisions? Yeah. I'm going to switch my repeating crossbow for this one, take the note and crumple it up, <laughs> put it in my pocket, and take the better crossbow. The only thing is oh the, my God. the better crossbow does have a big sass etched on the side of it with those uh, 20 Yeah, etchings. it's very personalized, yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, if you're gonna take the crossbow in front, Doctor Ven, um, the 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 construct is like repeatedly tapping um, Ven as if to try to tell him something, and, and they're like, "What? What? what Danger, what, 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 what Will Robinson! Danger!" Ooh. Uh, uh, I, my that I usually when I don't uh, common knowledge, I guess, uh, and like there's like a crimson card. Ah, ah, ah! Yeah, don't don't do don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> So your little contract is basically Jimmy Cricket. Like he's yeah, <laughs> he's your conscience. <laughs> you're Pinocchio. Not and quite sure. What to... <laughs> conscience my, my slash like, auxiliary my... memory. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> you're breaking the social contract. You're breaking the social contract. <laughs> I, I honestly forgot about the name etched on it. I guess I'll just say like, oh, that's cool. Could you do anything with mine instead of stealing someone else's? That is obviously very personal to them. Actually, I just had a funny weapon. thought. Could the arm be attached over the S, the first S in, in Big Sass? Yeah. <laughs> Big ass! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you attach it. Be because apparently I'm 12, but it's okay. <laughs> that's it's now been no, upgraded. That's hey, no, that no, arm no. is big ass. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, all what does 20 big asses mean? <laughs> ben is like, don't take the advisor's stuff. I, please. Um, it is one last nugget of, of intelligence I have left in my, in my body. Uh, and, yeah, and, and, yeah, even Flankman's like, v Dr. Vin has a point? <laughs> Yeah, so if he's like, oh, um, you know, I'll, I'll I'll need to get a few more parts, but sure, I, I could, you know, I can absolutely modify your your crossbow. No rush, I would love it. Yeah, I assume you guys return the crossbow bolt uh, to the desk, um, where the older lady comes back shuffling, uh, and then places a file down on the desk. What do you want to know? Ah, okay. Um, she picks up her crossbow. <laughs> and Doctor Van kind of looks at everyone else like, "Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, what was I supposed to ask about?" Uh, the, the flowers, uh, the, the rose and tulip. Uh, uh, why? Why? Why did I give up my trump card for, for, for flowers? A criminal. Not the actual flower. The, the, the people. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Um. So, apparently, the, there are individuals that were formerly part of our organization, um, the Techno Power Division, Rose, and uh, I believe tu Tulip. Um, what exactly were they working on before they were, uh, how you say, uh, given the boot? Well. Rose, being in the Techno Power Division, was working on kicking ass and taking names. I don't oh, know about Tulip, uh, but it looks um, like um, oh, about uh, several decades ago, uh, this individual came from the wilderness um, not too far, they claim. Uh, I was assimilated into the Florentian uh, society, um, moved up the ranks, became uh, pretty well respected in the techno fonts, and then, uh, well, nah. there's a particular area here that's redacted, and we'll speak of it no more. But was discharged soon after uh, and free to go about her life as she wishes. 
I see. Are they um? Are they are, are they marked as any individual to be uh, looked out for? Dangerous? Anything on our files? Yes, not in our files. We won't. We don't care about that. That's for the uh, militia to handle. Uh, good enough for me. Uh, the, the officers, detective. We're not. Uh, I'm technically not there, right? Correct. Yeah, they yeah. they are in a because you're in the archives. They're still in the militia, but you guys aren't that far away from each other. Ah. Hmm. Um. <laughs> I'm I'm going to out of character. Hmm. Is there anything that Doctor Ven would know to ask? Doctor Ven being on his own might not be the best. <laughs> Somebody else should probably be with him at all times. Buddy system. Well, I remember someone. I remember someone like tried to take her crossbow, so that's why like they were there. But like, did I they forgot. leave after that? I'm fairly. I'm fairly certain that because like that's why I thought like to add to, like was like. Uh, it was Sophie running back and forth between the two areas. <laughs> Look what I did! Oh, <laughs> Doctor Ben! Crossbow. Um, okay, so so yeah, he would he would write down that that knowledge and and put in the new aquamarine card in the construct for what they learned with um uh, about about Rose. Um, uh, uh, you know what? <clears throat> He's gonna ask about any files regarding um construct timers. Like daytime, nighttime timers. Like, uh, so out of curiosity, just just very hypothetical. Has there been any instance that a um, mechanical individual would have enhanced reflexes or or have any um, anything trigger in the head? Perhaps a salt rattle um, upon the detection of sunlight. No. Ah, good, good, good. Because that was very hypothetical. Uh, um, cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I will be on my way. That was very valuable. Thank you for your time, advisor. Um, I have already forgotten why I'm here. I am good. And he just starts wandering off. <laughs> like, he's about to say something and then stops and then just, and this just starts walking away. <laughs> Mid sentence. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, I assume you guys meet outside the Citadel, coming back together. Do I have okay. an office or? Yeah, you got a cubicle. My okay. internet just went out, and on dis on uh, Twitch, everybody's stuff has uh, been switched uh, yeah. around now. Right. I'm sorry. No <laughs> like... worries. Oh, am I? Am I? Uh... Like now, I am. I am doing now. now. I'm Dr. Vin I'm... now. I have become Dr. Vin. <laughs> I mean, I, I do right, have 20,000 guild coins. We could switch if you want. <laughs> you want to be Teddy? Oh, I, 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 I don't know how to play Teddy. I don't have your cards. <laughs> Not yet. I am now <laughs> Dr. Vin. He hasn't been quite dour enough for you to get a measure of it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we're all in the back, in the right spots now. Ah, good. Okay. Yes. Apologies. Good. 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 good, good. <clears throat> okay. I'll, it yeah. happens. Uh, I so I was like hanging over the top of your cubicle, especially yeah. with people just kind of looking in. Like my cubicle is very sad. Every wall of it is covered in like pictures with the string, like connecting <laughs> things like connecting pictures newspaper articles there's no pictures of like family there's no like personal items it's literally just all work related uh there's like the trash is like overflowing with old to-go coffee cups and like there's not enough chairs for everyone to sit down so you're all just gonna have to awkwardly stand around while i work uh, yeah and you're I, like one of those cubicles where you have someone like right behind you so you guys are like bumping chairs it's like this guy with like very thick framed glasses um staring at the files it was kind of like yeah, i think i'm gonna maybe get some coffee on my way back pick me up one please yeah, I'll no, get you. can i borrow your stapler no don't <laughs> don't freaking don't touch my anything on my desk please 
<laughs> Od oddly enough that you, you say that, I think, uh, I love that. I think Sophie's lost track of Roomba again, uh, and Roomba, the little spider drone, is now crawling over those little lines of string connecting things uh, on the walls and is just unattaching them and making a spider web on the wall. <laughs> Oops, sorry, it's not my microphone. Do I notice this? <laughs> I will actually have a panic attack. Yeah, I mean, probably. It's your wall. <laughs> and, oh. I, who are you people? And like the construct, Aquamarine card. Oh, 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 ah, uh, ah, uh, hi. Uh, here, here, read, read this. I, I, I think I remember, but you should have a, a better shot at it. I like take it and I just am trying to find a spot on the wall to start a new one of these. So I'm just going to like, stick it on the desk, I guess, and just start like a new string trail on my desk. <laughs> write the name Tulip, write the name Rose, make two separate sticky notes and just see what comes from each of those. Bring it into your web of lies. <laughs> <laughs> this is the <laughs> only web, web of, of truth lies. in the world. Uh, one quick second, I'm very sorry. <laughs> you guys go ahead, sorry. That means like uh, your, your house, your desk make is like, uh, Excuse me, uh, Officer Bateman. Uh, you really shouldn't have this many guests uh, around. I find it hard to do my work. So if you could uh, maybe only have one visitor or maybe have your conversation in the uh, the meeting room, if you reserve it, that'd be great. Dwight, we've talked about this. It's Bateman, not Bateman. Thank you. Bate, Bateman. Bate, Bateman, Bateman, not Bateman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're and welcome. I applied for the meeting space. They said it was full for the day. Sorry, yeah, you have to full. do this. That's here. not that's not my problem, but maybe you can T Teddy it. stares at the cubicle mate. Like not even menacingly, just this blank stare. I like, will <laughs> Who are you? Eating? I'll give him the piece of candy that I put in my pocket for later. <laughs> No, I'm a, say, I don't I'm like candy. <laughs> Flightman actually uh, will pull out as as much as he thinks it would cost for all of, like a cup of coffee, like away. He goes, "Why don't you help yourself to a break and let us? The sooner we're done, the sooner we will be gone." Mm -hmm. Okay, but don't touch my my desk or anything on it, especially right. that very large man. Is I feel like he's trying to accost me or or something. So. Okay, I'm I'm going. You're professional. Don't worry. He like heads out. He waddles over to the. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry the about him. Bread table. <laughs> they don't have donuts. Great guy. Great. Uh, Great militia. Put the toffee in your coffee. <laughs> that that uh, man. I I would very much like to look at his brain. <laughs> <laughs> I would very much like to look at him. I, I, I am now genuinely curious what goes on inside the, uh, <laughs> the, the, can, the little folds. In the I can help you with that. Oh. Uh, Sophie grabs, uh, no, finally notices that Roomba's being a pest uh, and, and s scoops up the, the drone and uh, just like sits on top of uh, the, the other person's desk, uh, like, like feet propped up on their chair. Most of this stuff belongs to the Citadel. Don't worry about touching it. He doesn't own it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't really worried either way, but good to know. <laughs> um, do we have like computers? No, uh, oh, computers. Okay. Yeah, there's there's no computers anymore. Okay. Only the Technosophists uh, are silly enough to go check out electronics and computers. <laughs> well, great. So you have binders full of things, and you have to keep logs by hand. Oh, I love that. You probably basically, are not allowed to use pencil or erase. It's a single line through, initial yeah. and date. You have to maintain the integrity of the data. It's very. I no, I'm not being paid to say this right now. <laughs> No. I was gonna say it's, it's like a, it's like that it's uh, that uh, montage from Hot Fuzz where he brings up both pins. And... <laughs> yes. Time to go. Yes. Exactly. I have like these are actual rules I have at work, and I I am tasked with making sure that people do that. 
I just, no, you're I just doing swear. amazing role play. Yeah. <laughs> you, use what you got. <laughs> and not oh, use pencils. Do not use this. Uh, it ha it cannot be. It, the ink has to be purple. I mean, the ink has to be black or blue. Why do you have white out on your desk? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe purchasing lets you get that. <laughs> I like that's so that's contraband. That's contraband. Just one to wait. Chimes in with like uh, one time I made a little little like action figure robot that was uh, was fueled by white out. I'm just gonna like put it in a drawer where Sophie can't see it. I know what the robot's done. I don't want the robot to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> I like I pull out another small drawer and it's just full of blank notepads. I'll just take out a blank notepad and just start like fresh for this case. I'm so excited. I'm pumped, guys. Yeah, I think I think <laughs> I think Teddy's happy to be here. Not happy. Never happy. That's never. <laughs> but there is like a churning in the back of his mind that like as long as he doesn't go check in, that he can't be assigned elsewhere. <laughs> this is, this he's, is he's just killing time. Like, until, I mean, if he checks in, he could probably get more information. Like, he could gossip with the others, but, um, nah, not today. Not today, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I need Satan. a nap first. <clears throat> um, was... Go ahead. I guess if I've, if I've got all the information from everyone, right? Like, everybody's, we could start uh take to the streets yeah and in that that file that you have now that you have time to look at it and everything uh <clears throat> rose um rose's gang um or the hedge as they like to be called um they uh have stolen a couple of constructs uh and repurposed them for their own uses um Supposedly, they're even involved in construct fighting, uh, as well as, um, theft. So, yeah. Uh, uh, now that we have this file and we've taken a breath, um, I'm assuming this recognition is still bothering Teddy, and I do have a Joker now. Mm -hmm. Could that be... Could that yeah. be enough clues so that mm -hmm. that that thing that's bothering him can become more clear? Yeah. Uh, so now that you have that, so you, you play it and it's starting to come together. You actually uh, met uh, Rose. Yeah. Uh, you, you were on patrol and such like that. You remember her being just very aggressive uh very much into to battle and, and stuff like that um she she had this idea that um the she's part of the cause of this attitude yeah yeah like <laughs> the daddy has she, she believed that if the the citadel really wanted to it could find other <clears throat> cities out there that there were other cities and that she has heard of them um but she believes that the citadel doesn't want people uh to escape florence that this has become kind of a a prison mm. does anything in teddy's experience um we're not using that word uh reinforce that uh or has he just kind of stayed right on the outskirts yeah it's never gone far enough uh it's pretty dangerous mm -hmm. out there especially over an extended period of time and there's um, new people out there. He can barely tolerate the ones he knows. Oh, out out there. Um, you've heard stories. Uh, there's some cannibals that haven't figured out how to get a Technophon out of their suit. Um, and you've seen or you've heard the screams of a, a Technophon person being kind of eaten from the top down. They mm. use a spoon to kind of almost kind of carve out like you would a turtle. Yeah, gross. <gasps> yeah. We don't <laughs> like you would that. a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Turtle soup. <laughs> Denied, I died. Great, this. great, great. Uh, yeah, so she's she's a little bit. Um, she had some ideas that she didn't need to have, basically. Oh. And uh, 
All right, so Teddy will have a sudden moment. He'll just straighten up suddenly from the cubicle wall, kind of like make it jostle a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully Roomba is not on that wall. Um, <laughs> That's so she's got, uh, got Roomba in her hands now. <laughs> okay, good. <clears throat> I met her. I met Rose. Where? Oh, uh, you know, out, out on patrol. She's one of us. Is there a reason you didn't disclose this before? Look, I've been going for like 30 hours at this point. I'm tired. I just remembered. We've all been there. So, yeah. Yeah, she, uh... What's her deal? Other cities. Ridiculous. Of course, it's only Florence. Other cities for... What? People to travel to, which, again, ridiculous. Well, it's not She too... thought the Citadel was keeping us here on purpose. Oh, he lowers his voice for that a little bit, but it doesn't matter because it's this low grumble anyway. I'm going to yeah. use my advantage. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Because uh, Ven is an archivist, and as displayed earlier, has some knowledge on, 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 on secrets in the Citadel. Uh -huh. Can I have to pull an advantage to do any kind of memory check to be like, is there anything that can lead us closer to this small angle? <laughs> A small. Um, what do you mean, a small angle? Like, like regarding, like, like, is there anything that can lead us to like a direction regarding the idea of 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 other cities in um, outside of Florence? Like where other cities might be. Yeah, or if there are other cities at all, sort of like like like, can this be proven? Um, and if, if it can, um, like. Where do we go from there? You know, yeah, you of... you know that there is nothing in the archives suggesting as such. In fact, all of ah. the maps uh, of Europe uh, have been mostly kind of discarded. They're not really necessary anymore. Uh, and all you have is Florence. Mm -hmm. That's all you'll ever need. So, as I said, these ah, <laughs> very interesting idea, but it's 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 it's, it's uh... Uh, we, we would know about it already. It's a very hard secret to keep. In your time knowing Rose, did she ever uh, speak of any findings? Just things she'd heard. She was con conspiracies. You know how it is. You, you, you're out there with the cannibals. You get ideas. She clung to them a little more closely than maybe she should have. Like, well, I mean, it stands to reason that other survivors would be out there in the wide world, but the world is large, and between us and them is all sorts of dangers and nature and cannibals. Um, so for now, our priority is our survival. And sure Explor ex exploration is another step we'll take when we're more prepared. When we... I'm sure the cannibals are, are just a myth. No. Unfortunately. And then not. Teddy takes the piece of taffy out of his pocket, unwraps it, and puts it in. <laughs> <laughs> believing there's no one else left in the world is almost like not believing in aliens. I mean, there are cannibals, of course there are people out there. I just, it's just, it's a probability of Florence not knowing after hundreds of years is uh, very, very small. So, uh, so if, if, it, if, saying, if knowledge is there. What I'm saying is that she was a conspiracy theorist. And she mm. may have been acting against the Citadel for the purposes of being petty. Out of character, uh, my character is definitely starting to be like, oh my God, what if the Citadel is lying to us? Because I've always been such a straight in, like narrow, good person. Like I always wanted to be a cop. Here I am. And now I'm just like, oh my God, I've never tried to leave. I never even thought about it. 
This was this was like a little little pin hammer that just shattered your illusion. Like, there's oh, now no. like <laughs> there's like strings connecting things in my brain now. Like I've just it's like the end of uh, what's it? The Prestige. Oh the god. Prestige or the Illusionist? One of them had like this whole thing like. <laughs> we're talking about movies again. Yes. It all no, makes sense. Both of them. Yeah. Now I'm just like, why aren't there other maps? Even if I... there's no one out there, we would still have the maps. So but, yeah. Oh yeah. I know no, you think that the... here, Sorry, you know, part of the militia, you think that you're real tough, but there's a reason that it's us that goes out there. Oh, I would never like doubt that. I just My job is mostly cause... paperwork. You all are expendable. Was I, well, yeah. yes, but also gestures to the coffin. I can hold my own around town, <laughs> but I know that's nothing compared to what's out there. <laughs> but to think that, never mind. You, you, I was gonna say you look over at uh, the the new web that uh, was it Roomba has created, and that <laughs> is the new connections are what are adding it to all of it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's probably better than what I had, so I'm just like. Don't question your government officer, Bateman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so no absolutely, absolutely going I along with the. Uh, that. <laughs> Anything that's said about the Citadel being like incompetent or or keeping things from people, it just just feeds into any conspiracy theory that that gets mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> confirmation bias, yes. Ah, uh, yes, confirmation bias. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess. Is there anything else in the file? Nope. That's it. Small just, file. Yeah, I mean, it's not much. Like, it's it's hard for Florence to keep kind of a, a large tab on, on people, especially someone like this who is like a ghost. Who's actively hiding, yeah. And you know. seemingly like they don't want to keep tabs on certain people and things. Just so there's we, no record of it. Have yeah. we investigated any other floral aficionados? Hedge, tulip, rose. Seems like a relatively simple pattern. I'm trying. Can I use. No, no, um... no, no, no. I know. I love it. I love it. It's just. <laughs> Can I use Black I mean, to you, uh, do my, my slums investigating? Because I didn't use my Jack earlier. I used a different spade. So, yeah, you, you don't. The, the Jack represents another card. It being in your deck just means that you can always use that. The street okay. when you want. Um, so yeah, use it. Okay. So oh, so then I could just use um for my my trace search. Mm -hmm. Do I do I get any other clues from these names? Like what something I might have? And I'll use I've I've got the trained in trace search, so I'll use like two fours, one being a spade for that success, and then the eight being another success. Okay. Excellent. Um so you know of a place. Um, it's called the Corpse Grind. Uh, it is a uh, burlesque uh, sort of club, pretty relatively new, uh, where some seedier individuals uh, congregate. Um, that might be a good place to start. Looks like we're going to see the, the Tuesday crowd at the burlesque club. Those are the best. They got a lot of time on their hands. Yeah, Tuesday crowd. Not a bad show. <laughs> uh, everyone is free to join me. I'm used to working solo, um, but I don't mind an extra eyes and ears. I was headed there after my nap anyway. Might as well head now. Coffee on the way, <sighs> coffee on the way, coffee on the way. I'm just like pointing at everybody, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, absolutely. Go ahead, sorry. No, no, no. He's just, he's still looking confused. Like, wait, burlesque? What? What? What's going on? Um, and just kind of following along. It's like, okay, okay, okay random people I met. <laughs> Sophie's just like, uh, absolutely coffee. Um, 
And I mean, uh, I mean, going to the burlesque club means interacting with more people, so I, I guess. But um, I, I suppose that my my new duty as a investigative consultant, uh, I should probably tag along. I would like to open a drawer and pull out a bunch of like little fake plastic pins that we hand out to children mm-hmm. around the city that are like little these <laughs> badges. <laughs> So everyone, oh, everyone is so cute. If you need anything, just show your badge. Don't show it for too long. They'll see it's fake. Just try it. Yeah, it has like militia, then like in very small print, not really militia. <laughs> oh yeah, so oh, there's, 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 there's militia there's kids. <laughs> yeah, junior or something like that. Junior yeah. militia. <laughs> junior agent. Oh yeah, Sophie puts it on proudly uh and uh, fake what do you what do you mean fake and just sort of ignores that part um and is now convinced that this is an official badge <laughs> heck yeah Teddy uh, does not put one on <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to wear it you can just use it if you feel like you might need it <laughs> I love that <laughs> so you guys head over uh to this uh, burlesque club uh when uh it's kind of in this apartment complex uh which has been renovated on the northeast end of florence near the wall um there are two individuals outside uh each of uh stocky builds it looks like their uh arms are disproportionate to the rest of their bodies it's way more muscular uh as they just kind of check everyone over uh this is probably a point where you don't want the badge uh on display um i think teddy it, knows at least one of them gives him a fist bump yeah he's, he's, he's here up. a lot what's up teddy well, yeah what doing? pops up his collar to try to hide himself more yeah they they <laughs> they, they uh they punch your card like you know three three times fourth time 40 percent off or something like that it punches your card like, all right enjoy the show um you guys come in, uh, and there, it is so illegal. There is one living person, uh, dancing, and then two dead people dancing. Um, and this isn't the, uh, the tan skin dead. This is, uh, pre-tanning process. So it's actually a, uh, a, you could recognize the features and all sorts of things, uh, as a robotically, uh, jiggle bits um before the people are sitting around uh drinking alcohol uh it's kind of a smoky little place Mm -hmm. very low ceilings they got a special here i'll go get you i'll go get you some of them you'll like it no cinnamon i know yeah and for officer bateman like looking around there's like so much illegal stuff happening. I'm so triggered. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> holy heck. I'm coming back here later for some of this, but for now it's useful to me. You get a big, like a huge hand just petting you on the shoulder like, yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> it's reassuring, but in a very awkward way. Like, I'm just like, he knows too much about this place. I got to question him on different things later. Yeah, like someone's like, hey, daddy. Yeah, everyone knows you. <laughs> I do have the streetwise talent. So. Uh, it's just like, yeah, there, we know uh, this. We know is there this. any old like technology stuff, like like an old beat up arcade cabinet or gambling machine or anything like that in, oh, inside the place? Uh, yeah, they have a uh, an old uh, Michael Jackson arcade game uh, in the corner. Uh, three of the buttons are uh, broken, uh, but there is the one which still has its handle. Um, you know. Awesome. Uh, I think Sophie's just going to disappear and start trying to repair that. Yeah. I mean, it's it's operational. It looks like you know you you can you hear like the hee hee as you get close to it. Uh, <laughs> it's a fighting game called Beat It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very appropriate for where we are. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, um, I was gonna say, well, there may be an additional machine, but it's a bootleg and it's called Eat It by uh, we'll, we'll, 
Yeah, Wait, Wait Al Yankovic. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, um, I forgot his actual name. <laughs> but yeah, as, yeah. She'll she'll probably play around with that and like like actually play the game, but also to, like try to figure out like how it works and what parts are in it and like where they. At some point, you get like a a metal cup just cloaked down next to you, and Teddy just walks off, leaving you a glass of like, let like a gin based drink with like fruity liquor in it so basically uh, a polish sidecar but like with some kind of futuristic yeah. twist to it Love that. ever clear yeah. <laughs> yeah she just just drinks it at random doesn't even ask like you know like she she knew you put it down there so she doesn't even acknowledge that you were there just mm -hmm. drinks it mm -hmm. <laughs> everyone gets one of these to drink or not drink as they like but this is what's being served yeah, I was gonna say Flankman is both uh, very curious and also horrified by what's on stage. Not so much about what it is, but more like there's no way this was sanctioned by the Citadel for these constructs to be up there, which means they're un they're unlicensed constructs <laughs> of probably of some sort. So whenever you hand him a drink, he just grabs it, swigs it, puts it like it's gone, and he's just still staring. He's just like He's he wants he's just, he just has like a million questions like who did this who's doing this stuff underground like you know. <laughs> like what is <laughs> this yeah I, I will, he's I like say, who who but... commissioned this yeah. he's also trying to see is it actually done well or is it like the shoddiest work he's ever seen like as far as like how they're you know <laughs> yeah not it's... the nudie <laughs> bits but the constructed bits <laughs> yeah yeah like I mean it, it looks like flesh embalmed and everything mostly taken care of uh the programming is uh it's all right uh dances from the early uh 2020s uh just just work <laughs> um there's a lot of twerking such. is there yeah. a little bit of nay nay maybe yeah <laughs> superman and stuff but like that <laughs> going back to the 2000 here's here's a, is there any All way of, of just sounds horrifying <laughs> it is no it sounds oh, like it this was in, in the michael nightmare. jackson game it just happens to be playing thriller so it's like yeah <laughs> da, da. yeah you're playing michael jackson fighting the uh the zombies um is there any way like when someone creates a contract is there sort of like a signature where like you can kind of identify who they are not at, not no. at all. yeah they they work very hard to keep the 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 constructs anonymity because yeah you don't want someone being like that's my mama no no i mean i mean like the person who did the construct like who oh who person yeah now it's kind of um construct tanning and stuff like that is like assembly line esque uh oh, yeah. kind of but work. Since, but since this was out more than likely, I don't know for sure outside the oh, citadel, this, would maybe like yeah, that, there you know there might be. You'd have to like get get yeah. behind this thing and kind of check <laughs> out the the, the yeah. Because I, I can it's sort of like you know when someone tags, they want people to recognize mm -hmm. who they are. You, it was like I did something illegal, but you know it was me. Yeah, the little uh, Nike swoop. Yeah. Oh my God. So yeah, he's like, he's, so he's looking at him and he is taking notes, but very like he's still glued to it. He's not even it's a what is it ghost write or um uh what what would you would you write without even looking at the paper or what a disassociation oh. or whatever? Oh, I don't know what that's called. There there's a word for it, yeah. yeah. Where you like you don't look at what you're writing, your hand's just going. <laughs> Two things for Ben that actually was always ADHD. <laughs> yeah. And the the woman who is alive, um, it, it's kind of like someone looked at a magazine and took different pieces of what they thought beauty was and kind of patched it together. So even upon this man's face, there's just kind of like different bits and, and pieces uh, attached. Like Frankenstein's like, monster, like. <laughs> yeah, but like, awkward, like weirdly attractive, like it's all the right pieces and they're put together and like it's a six pack and well-toned body. Like, wow, it's just all so weird. It's like Dr. Like Simon. Dr. Simon, is that uh, Oh, I, I was say, yeah, yeah. Just like That's, splicing uh, people together. Mm -hmm. Is that from Soul Eater? I was also thinking Soul Eater. <laughs> the, uh, the zombie. In Bioshock. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh yeah, he's like, this one's too symmetrical. This yeah. one's too tall. 
He's like, why can't I just have perfect? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember that speech. <laughs> perfect cheekbones. <laughs> Two. Two things about Ven. Um, he is also enraptured, probably for the wrong reasons, though, um, as opposed to Flankman, where he is, they are just absolutely writing down everything they can see and like, like, not like I have to know who did this. He's like, I have to know who did this. <laughs> and like, um, and for the second thing is he has not drunk in a single thing at all. He put the, co the coffee he got at the start of this in a thermos. And then whatever drink he's he's given, he just keeps putting it in the thermos. Oh god! So the coffee's in there uh, with the, the co coffee. Yeah. And gin? yeah the, the, the question is: is how many days has he had this uh, thermos? Uh, you don't want to know that answer. I can't say I'm a fan of gin and coffee. Yeah, it's I mean, gin, coffee, it's, some coke. It's not <laughs> milk. But what kind of coke? <laughs> the best kind. Uh, the kind that, you know, numbs your mouth so you can't taste the rest of the milk. Yeah. The <laughs> that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, so you mean the original Coca-Cola formula. Got it. Yeah. Oh, for, uh, for Sophie, that would be the uh, Coca-Cola with cinnamon. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, I can't feel my mouth. My lip nose are swelling. I can't breathe. Uh, yeah, it feels good, yeah. I suppose uh, um, Sophie disappeared. They're, I'm assuming they're just watching what's on stage because mm -hmm. they're men, and so they're just distracted at this point. So I'm gonna head to, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm Teddy gonna comes, head to the bar. Teddy actually comes here. It's not clear, but Teddy is like his his regard for the dancers on the stage is more like he's just getting a little like angry and agitated, like he. It seems like he comes here just to remind himself of why he's he's pissed off. <laughs> but he yeah, never like laughs out or anything. Anger. He's very welcome. That's here not he healthy. Behaves. The job, the coffee, the mirror, the stage, everything. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> um, so we're here to socialize, to get some gossip. Yeah, I'm at the bar because um, bartenders always know the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's this short individual um, with this uh, bandana on their head, gazing up at you with like this thick mustache. Well, I already have a drink. I don't know how to start this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try and like act like, you know, I belong here a little bit and that I'm not a cop and be like, so have you... Uh... <laughs> What's what's the cool gossip around town lately? I'll just sip on my drink, even though I don't drink. Thank you! Um, I mean, what brings you here? You're a new face. I heard this was the best uh, burlesque in town. Is this the only is this the it's, only place like this in town? It is. Yeah. OK. Yeah, I heard this was the best in town. Wanted to come check it out. Yeah, you're a fine patron of the arts. Indeed. Very nice uh, display here today. Yeah, they they appreciate it, you know. There's not often a person gets a chance to dance nowadays. To express I, themselves. I, I don't know how else to ask this. Sorry, I, I'm very uh, not good at this. I, I want a job here, okay? I'll just say it. I want to, how do I go about working here? Hmm. I mean, do you have a passion for art, a free spirit, a rebel? Are these things, uh, these words, are they encompassed within your soul? Yes. Ever since I was young. I knew I was going to be on some sort of stage when I grew up. And, and this then is... that dream was taken from you, right? Humanity died. Who knows the cause of it? And so now we're in this almost gray-like landscape where joy and happiness are small slivers you can only enjoy every once in a while. Family, it's gone. Friends, no time for it, right? The Citadel takes everything from you until you're just this husk, worn and beaten. Boo! Get off the stage! And talk to him. 
<laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> um. Hey, you watch it, pal. Yes, the the citadel has taken. <laughs> I'm starting to realize a lot from me, and maybe they're not who we thought they were. So. Yeah. It's understandable. Like, maybe this is starting to become my my crowd. And there's other crowds too, like, you know, there's a painting class, uh, pottery, uh, I've heard somewhere. Um, you have uh, options. Don't think that this is the only thing you have. Who who runs the painting class? I can That's... give you a, a location. Yes. Yeah. I love painting. I'll, like, show the canvas that I took from Ben, but not the picture on it. Oh. Can I see? I'm no, I'm so embarrassed by my own work. If you want to be a burlesque dancer, uh, trust me, you can't be embarrassed. Well, showing my art is one thing. Showing my body, I guess, is different. A yeah, body could be art, right? Yeah. And I think to do something like this, you have to love yourself. It has to be paramount within you, right? Yeah, not many people are willing to be vulnerable to other people to show themselves naked. I think it's the most vulnerable we can ever be. And to go on stage and parade that which you find most vulnerable about yourself. Well, it's a sort of beauty in it. That sort of courage is what someone needs to be an artist too. Naked painting on stage. Well, let me see it and we'll see. Is there a way that I could un unroll it just to the bottom where the construct started losing it and slap dashing on the page and not the uh, great portrait part? It, it would be it would be unconvincing because you're pretty much rolling up the majority of the yeah, like, like three I'll give fourths you a of it. Maybe just say it's like a preview. Yeah. It's not All finished right. yet. Why don't you give me a heart? I have. A three on with a heart. Perfect. All right. Yeah, he he looks at it. You're kind of giving us this little sliver. All right. It looks like you need work. This is what I was afraid of. Afraid of criticism. You hate it. I'll just roll it up real quick and put it back. Oh, no. My criticism is that you're not willing to love yourself and put yourself before other people. You got to be confident in yourself. Take a big drink. She just bared her soul to you and you said it needs work? Not the painting, man. She only showed a little bit. If you're gonna go on the stage, you have to show it all. This guy fucking sucks. Maybe <laughs> in the Good painting night, class, <laughs> they could bring that part of my soul out. I wish you the best on your journey. What was that location? For the painter's class. Yes, sir. Talk to the dancer. She was a ballerina uh, a long time ago. Susie is her name. She'll educate you. Perfect. I will tip him for his help. And uh, just go act like I'm watching the show. All right, you do her right, okay? For a lot of these militia types trying to infiltrate us by masquerading as artsy folk. I'm just here to learn. All right. I think uh, I think that moment. Uh, Sophie's gonna walk back up, uh, and because it's Sophie. Just be like, Officer Bateman, did you know they're using the X2 memory in that arcade machine? Isn't that incredible? I didn't even think you could find those anymore. It's I'm um, oh ex Officer God. Bateman. <laughs> I know it's new. I know it's new. A couple Recent of people changes. are alike. Hmm? <laughs> oh, did, did you did something happen? Did you did you just quit? Like that was I have unanswered questions. I don't know whose side I'm on right now. Right. I yeah, should probably um, take ago. this this 
official badge off then and she pulls off a little <laughs> fake pin well it's not official it, it could just it's a nice uh token of right. my appreciation right right i i get it you want to keep it on you know on the down low to keep it quiet so it's fine just we know it's official can I have pulled Sophie away from the bar, just like locked arms with her? Yeah, like, get over here! As soon as God, she told me, Officer Bateman, I'm just like, oh, we'll have this conversation <laughs> over here. That's fair. And real quick, is so between where we left and we came here, Bateman changed in like two civilian type of clothes, but you but you're dressed the same way that cops do when they're off duty. Like super tight, tucked in shirt. Like, yeah, yeah. On. Yeah. yeah, like everything screams undercover, like cop that's trying not to be a cop. Baseball cap, aviators. Yeah. yeah. Just, just here for the show. I am blending in. <laughs> Don't have uh, like uh, a little pamphlet, like I hate the militia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start making fake pamphlets like, what's outside the walls? <laughs> yeah, what's a militia? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> what even is yeah t-shirt that says so not a cop yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my civilian shirt <laughs> oh gosh yes uh yeah sophie uh, allows herself to be let off with with no problem and starts rambling about the uh the x2 memory that's in the the arcade cabinet and and who made it originally and what year it came from Sophie, I love all of this, and if you can take anything from that to put on my crossbow, go for it. But you can't call me officer in places like this. the The best like art like thing I have in my arsenal is the element of surprise and being unknown to people that I might need information from. Yeah. Speaking right. of element of surprise, you notice that there is a woman approaching you kind of this white shirt uh her eyes are red um and you notice that both of her arms are steampunk mechanical in nature kind of like that same claws that you would see with a uh, construct uh on, on both of her hands um as she is approaching you guys from the other side of the room is she but she's not construct we can definitely tell that yeah she's not a construct she's okay, she's okay. alive no pipes or anything coming out of her back okay Shimon, and when you said 500 points high score <laughs> like when you said red eyes like bloodshot or her color of eye is actually red they're actually red like glowing or just i don't know just, <laughs> just not glowing just kind of okay. um uh, yeah just kind of like this this dull crimson okay i was just is, it... is that i Go, go ahead, go ahead. Kind of maybe slightly like albino? Yeah. Like with the pale. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll even, uh, I'll post a picture of her in the chat too. Ooh, Ooh. great. More. I guess I, I guess my question is really like, how normal is that in this society or is that actually? Oh, it's not normal. Like, okay. uh, yeah. This society like leans heavily towards uh, utility. And so this is something that is possible, but it's definitely more art. Uh, and so, okay, so this person went out of their way to make themselves yeah. look. Okay, okay, okay. The, the, yeah, I didn't know if it was like a like. Oh, red eyes is a sign of you had the plague at one point, or you know something. About <laughs> <laughs> like, no oh. plague here. No. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, um, sorry. I know. I'm like. I'm looking way too deep into this. <laughs> no, you're cool. I, I like. No, good. 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 Yeah, it's a good question. That was a great question. <laughs> It was my favorite question. <laughs> <laughs> How much money would you like? No. <laughs> yeah. Is she? All right. So, and the, so the she's approaching bait. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, that was a wonderful show. I'm very inspired. She's just staring at you. Um, I'll just come out and ask, I, I want to be a painter and I heard you, you do painting classes. You're the teacher. I didn't get any information on that. And she's just staring. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I don't want to ask, can I just give her money? But <laughs> if I say, if I say, would you like to sit down and chat for a bit about more about your art? I look over at my group that I'm with, yeah. like. Actually, at this, if, if, uh, when there's a pause, Flakeman will actually like, are you in discomfort? No. So she can't talk. Yeah, he goes, I've got, he actually kind of like pulls back, he has like a, like a little pouch where he was like, I've got remedies of, like, does anything almost look discomfort or infected, like where the metal touches the flesh? Uh, it's hard to see with kind of the the white shirt and stuff like the that. The white but, shirt blocking yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, but he just goes, if, if you have any redness or soreness, I might have something that could help. I might have to take you up on that offer at another time. Hmm. But sure, we can sit. Is, is, uh, okay? is she familiar to Teddy? Has he seen her before? Yeah. Um, so, uh, to clarify, um, the, the burlesque dancer, the human, uh, her name was Susie, uh, and she is still up on stage. This is, uh, an Is entire... she, like, internal security? Oh. Yes, this is, this is, like, the head of the bouncers. Um, oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. So Teddy's gonna be, like, kicking Flankman under the table, like, we're in... I don't know what Bateman did, we're in trouble. Hmm. What? I thought this I was think... Susie. <laughs> About to get kicked out. We're in trouble. Um, that that's what I was thinking when she walked up and she was really silent. Like, oh, <laughs> oh this, <laughs> this is trouble. like, ex excuse me, sir. We need you to leave. <laughs> well then, can we just redo all be of that? Nice that I when said it's time I to be nice. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Sorry, I should have clarified. No, no, that's okay. So and, is I Ven? Mean, uh, he was subtle about can, it. Can can Ven suss out that like people are are acting weird and worried? Uh, you can give me a uh, investigation. Uh, what 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 skill? Uh, what um, quadrant? Steam. Uh, um, steam. Yeah, clubs. Steam. I don't think I have any. Uh, steam is diamonds, right? No, um, uh, uh, clubs. clubs. It's clubs. Yeah, clubs. Oh, I oh I, I have clubs. Um, I don't. Um, so they have two cards to add to eight. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you can play two cards and they add up to eight for a success. Four, four and a five. Okay. Um, no, people are are pretty chill. Like it's a it's a good night. Uh, the only person uh, who's off is this uh, woman who's just approached, and even she doesn't seem nervous or stressed. Yeah, no, but hmm. Teddy has told you that's security. So that's yeah, right. but yeah, Ted definitely knows. Like that's that's big boss uh, lady. You've you've seen her like toss out people uh, with the strength of. Two Teddy men. doesn't want to mess with her. Three men. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I think um, Van would just like. Is it time to go or time to fight? Let's say uh, what's the play. Time to go. If this talk doesn't go well time to go i didn't get a location hmm. uh, uh if I, i'll get up and like walk away and see if the security follows me to see if i'm the problem you see Maybe your eyes to... looking at you but uh no should it follow okay i'll just okay. go watch Susie. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sophie just walks right up to this this person, uh, and it's like, you don't talk a whole lot. I, I like you. <laughs> Are you saying you like your women quiet? No, I'm just saying I don't like it's to talk. It's an awkward pickup line. I just don't like to <laughs> talk a lot. Oh, no, no I'm, I'm not into that sort of thing with, like, anyone. Yeah. What brings you here? Uh my and like you can tell like anybody that that knows sophie in our little group could probably tell that she's about to say my my police friend uh but she stops herself says, um <laughs> before she actually says it it's like my um uh colleagues uh and i uh we're, we're coming in here to to kind of 
uh, to take a break from the project we were working on and uh, soak up some of the local uh, culture uh, in this part of town. And uh, did very cool arcade machine, by the way. Thank you. All right, fine. Well, enjoy yourself. Unless there's something Blake else. Blake Man Wolf. Uh, Sophie just sort of awkwardly stands there because um, she doesn't really know how to end conversations because she doesn't have many of them. So she just sort yeah. of stands there waiting for something else to happen. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's perfect because, you know, she doesn't she doesn't say anything and then you don't want to end something. So it's just you two standing together. S there nothing okay. happening. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. And Flank, Flankman will actually, um, when he sees that, um, I guess, like, uh, Bateman is trying to figure out, like, how best to talk to Susie, he just kind of leans down and it's like, uh, you know, at some point, Susie has to get off work. We could just wait till she leaves for the... Is it day or night? I don't know what time it is. Yeah, it's, it's getting to night. Okay, it's like if she's working during the day, her shift has got to be coming soon to an end. Is that you gyrating? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, look at her. She's worn out. Yeah, <laughs> she's we exhausted. Can, we can try and catch her when she leaves, I just don't want that to be, I don't want to catch anybody off guard. Like we waited for them to get off work or something. Well, that's and just like exactly what out. we're doing. <laughs> this is true. Maybe we'll use the rest of her shift to try and figure out how to organically meet her. <laughs> so we don't have to just like ambush her when she comes out of work. Cause nobody wants Get to her. Meet. <laughs> and, and this, and this bait man, I mean, uh, flank man actually, uh, I just realized we're both flank man, bait man. Um, <laughs> the two um, man. The two man. Um, he actually looks at Teddy. He's like, um, he asked Teddy, he, he eventually gets asked Teddy. He's like, uh, uh, how frowned on it is to wait around for a worker to get done to talk to him after work. <laughs> Teddy actually rolls his eyes. <laughs> like give her a note and a tip oh that's good brilliant do that one, do that one. <laughs> yes i will uh like leave. fold it we he's like hey, between your paper and my paper we have lots of paper we have pins <laughs> <laughs> yes. don't give her the pin my paper actually yeah, has just... like a little header on it though with like my name on so i can't use that <laughs> it's like from the desk of officer bateman please yeah. meet me at a coffee shop here's some money <laughs> not <laughs> a cop <laughs> fyi and he pulls not some of the of the newspaper wrappers from the taffy out of his pocket there's more in his hand than you think you saw him eat <laughs> like, i don't know he's one of those <laughs> not a rude amount there was still mm -hmm. a lot left on the t on the yeah. plate <laughs> yeah I could just see i could also see officer bateman just like doing a little like, like caveat uh symbol and being like former officer bateman yeah. <laughs> i just write x really big in front of it <laughs> yeah uh, yeah i'll do that though i'll find a blank piece of paper and say i'm interested in the painting course and would love to talk more over a drink maybe i will not leave money because just something about that feels really wrong flankman will put a little bit of money in there he'll take like a you would as like a cop feel like that was wrong but you're wrong <laughs> i don't want to buy this person uh, they, uh, they, if they anybody wants to contribute money though i'll i'm not against that yeah. Well, I guess it's more of the note, the money, it's like slipped and folded. Now the question is, who's going to put it in the garter belt? <laughs> Teddy, could you get this yeah. to Susie for us? Yeah, Flakeman's like, I'm not going near that stage right now. <laughs> Maybe your, your security friend? I don't like her. Fine. Fine. Is much appreciated. So Teddy takes it, walks up to the stage, the little gesture 
and just hands it to her. <laughs> yeah, she takes it. Money's wrapped on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> Looks yeah. at it and then kind of puts it in. Uh, he gives her that nod that says, I know you know I don't like you. Here it is. <laughs> and walks on. <laughs> <laughs> the obligatory like, I know you got someone at home to feed. Here's the money. <laughs> So, he's, he's surprisingly unapproving of like severe modifications. He understands are necessary. Yeah, but it's just it's just creeping closer and closer to being a living construct and not a fan. It's just the worst thing in the world to you. Yeah, yeah. Which is <laughs> funny because ironically that would, that's like the best thing in the world to Sophie. Just like sure, <laughs> living yeah, I... non people. That's, that's fantastic. Yep. <laughs> Yep. If we weren't running out of time in this session, I would say that Teddy would go socialize with other technophons, but I think we're like, we're getting on time. So, yeah, we'll, we'll say, so, um, you know, the, the night kind of continues on and people start like trickling out and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. leaving you guys, uh, pretty much alone, except for a few stragglers. Susie, uh, approaches you and sits down ordering, uh, a white Russian, um, waiting expectantly for what this meeting could be. Uh, but that'll be it for tonight as yeah. we dive into this mystery of who is an actual cop and who is not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, over the course of the day, because, because everyone is approaching like 40 hours of awake, the smell does get stronger. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, just letting you know this is a thing oh goodness uh that was fantastic uh i thoroughly enjoyed that um we're gonna go on a raid here very shortly but before we raid. do i'm gonna let everybody uh say what their favorite part was where we can find them next and anything they'd like to share or plug um we'll go reverse order from how we started so we'll start with uh with mitch uh what was your favorite part where can folks find you and anything you want to share plug and, and definitely throw that that kickstarter link into chat oh yeah uh so yeah penny for a tail uh find me on all the socials my favorite part i think was um i think it was bateman's just like inquisitive nature just like i need to know what this is also is the citadel bad <laughs> Are we Reality the baddies? shattered. Yeah, are, are we the baddies? Yeah, so focused on are being a cop. Bad guys? Just never even thought, you know, <laughs> brainwashed basically. Yeah, so that, that was a lot of fun. That was my favorite part. Uh, but yeah, I, I put the link up there in the chat. Necrobiotic right now on the Kickstarter. Go, go, go. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, next, speaking of Officer Bateman, uh, Wowzer, what was your favorite part? Where can folks find you and anything you want to share or plug? I love that everything is like floral named. Love it. Yeah, yeah I do. That's so good. <laughs> it's like every time you reveal a clue and you're like, the hedge is the game. I'm just like, ah, oh, this is going to be so much fun to figure it out. I love it. I'm like actually kind of my character in real life. I do take a lot of notes on things just so I can remember. So I'm just like playing it how I would. Excellent. Um, yeah, this is a great story, great game. I'm really enjoying all of it. And thank you for like letting me play and running this. And you know, just thank you for all of this. Oh, Absolutely. Thank you guys. And as far as things to plug, um, just follow my, follow me here on like Twitter. Um, and then if I ever do anything, I'll put it there. This is what I'm doing right now, though. So stick around for this. Awesome. Uh, next, uh, I'll, I'll go last. So we'll uh, head over to uh, to Josh. Uh, what was your favorite part? Where can folks find you? Uh, and anything else you want to share? Plug. Uh, um, I guess. Oh. <laughs> it's... Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go no, sorry. No, you go ahead first. Oh, oh my bad. Um... Yeah, uh, sorry, I, I, my, my brain went like eight different places. Uh, yeah, my favorite, I, I just love the fact that we're essentially getting to test play the game with someone who's like literally in the in the muck of it and like putting it together and making it. So like in a weird way, it's like what we do is gonna probably change things. You're like, oh, that's working, that's working great. Little like, so it's kind of cool. That's actually really <laughs> yeah. nice. Like, 
like I'm super excited about that. Um, and the art, it just, it's, it's just my own thing. I like the artwork, like all of that. Like, <laughs> uh, as far as me, uh, apparently by, I didn't even realize my Twitter handle was down there or one of them. Uh, but the thing that the project that I work on, and I said this at the beginning is, uh, me and my children and two of their friends, uh, have a podcast called, uh, Teenagers and Troublemakers, which is us. It, it, it was recorded in 2019 and we're just now starting to release the episodes. So. Oh, man. That's yeah, it's like, it, it, like, it, like it's a learn. It's from when I first started running games and I've learned so much since then. So when I go back and I have to read and listen to it, it's just, it's cringeworthy. I'm like, oh, I've learned so, I would never do that again. But uh, it's fun. <laughs> Episode 13 just dropped like a few days ago. Awesome. Uh, next we've got Hope. Uh, what's your favorite part? Where can folks find you? And anything you want to share or plug? I mean, I think that this went really well overall, but I think <clears throat> my favorite part is just, um, you know, you always have your doubts going into a game. Oh, is the chemistry going to be okay? And I'm really delighted that we have the right, uh, we have the right combination of impulsive, uh, and kind of out there. And then, <laughs> determined <laughs> detached like we have a we have a good combination of players here and and um uh, that that's my favorite part so far <laughs> awesome. uh, as usual you can find me at hope tracy 71 on twitter on monday nights on Milady saito's channel for tales of Drahi, where i play a why not wild magic sorcerer um with uh with some ambitions you know they're fine is fine on thursdays for on this channel for elite babeskar which is a star wars game with a mandalorian theme i or i play a mandalorian who's who's supposedly the captain it's not going well right now <laughs> it's fine <laughs> it will be i think i think there's there's some more really just awkward discussions to happen coming soon but I mean, you did just adopt a, a, a Sith Ewok, so you know it's looking up. Great, great, right, that's gonna help a lot. <laughs> what? Definitely gonna. Oh, it's gonna improve things so much. <laughs> yep, it's great. It's a lot of fun. It's on Thursday nights. Um, is there anything else you wanted to share? Or plug? Uh, that's it. I got these three places that I am that people might want to see. And uh, other than that, I I like a lot of sheep videos so you would so <laughs> my twitter feed's a little weird um and i should probably talk more about the games but, but you know i guess self-conscious all right uh then uh next we've got chatterbox uh favorite part where can folks find you anything you want to share or plug i think the moment when it was revealed that the uh what, what the construct painted was like a serious favorite moment of intrigue ever it, it's sort of like um um the bug on um it, it it's like westworld the first episode of the, the westworld tv show like the like delving into a a mystery that you you just cannot see going one way or another um that really got to me and i'm very excited despite despite, despite a lot of the humor like I, I i am playing them as a back and forth like goofy character but also has their serious moments hopefully um otherwise um i'm you know chairbox ava i'm a writer i'm a voice actor i do um tabletops of all kinds just follow my twitter i got stuff coming it's it's it, it kind of in the pipe um um as other people have mentioned before kind of um in development or or kind of coming out um delayed um so yeah thank you so much for having me yeah absolutely uh, and that just leaves me. Uh, my favorite part, uh, I I very much enjoyed uh, Officer Bateman's, um, you know, trying to not come off as, as a cop with this incredible bartender who I, I really hope we get to see more of them too. Like that whole scene was just chef's kiss. Um, I love the bartender. Yeah, they're amazing. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Flankman tr sort of trying to to herd the group back to focus every so often, not always succeeding. Um, but uh, 
the I, I really like the dynamic between especially between Jace and uh, and Doctor Ven. Um, that was really great. Uh, Teddy's comments and just sort of like. Uh, the word I'm looking for, like hard, Your... hard boiled attitude, kind of a. Yeah. Kind of that a is such a good character. Ass. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. And, and I intend no character, uh, character growth for this character at all. Tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will learn he's nothing, our, and that's our, fine. He's our rock. <laughs> <laughs> You're my teddy bear. Uh, and then Doctor Ven with with the the, the colors and, and the little skull construct. That's amazing. Uh, I, I yeah. loved that. That was that was great. Um, and I'm really enjoying Sophie, uh, especially with the like. Let me say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Just blurt it out. It's just mm -hmm. great. <laughs> It'll be great. Um, yeah. It'll be great. So the whole thing. The whole thing was fantastic. Uh, where you can find me next? Uh, we're not having uh, animus tonight. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, cast members who are uh, also down with with vaccine symptoms. Uh, or not symptoms, uh, side effects. That's the word I was looking for. Um, since everybody's getting vaccinated, which is fantastic. Um, but they're feeling under the weather because the, yeah, the, it's a little rough. Uh, so we're going to skip tonight. Uh, so the next time you'll see me on here is Tuesday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time for Standing Stones, uh, which is our, our high fantasy uh, campaign on, on Fundamental RPG, um, where I'm playing Callie, uh, or Cauliflower is her full name. Uh, and she is your typical, like, uh, shonen anime protagonist, uh, not very bright, loves to fight things, and, you know, just, just heart of gold type character. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the whole cast there is incredible. You should definitely check it out. Um, and then just other things to share or plug are uh, our sponsors, which I'm putting into chat again, uh, which is Fundamental RPG. It looks like this. It's a simple D20 system that you can run virtually anything on from high fantasy to sci-fi and everything in between, which we are proving this season. We've got four different, very different shows running on it uh, this season. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon for the physical copy, uh, or you can pick up a uh, digital version at coffee.com slash raven slash shop just like it says at the bottom of the screen just add slash shop to the end uh, and the digital version is currently on sale um, so it is like, uh, three dollars four dollars off uh, so it's only uh, 14.99 right now um, so you can pick that up there also there's there's free character sheets available for download at the same spot uh, and then also at that website you can find intrepid which is another sponsor which is adventuring gear for real life uh all different kinds of apparel, uh, mouse pads, uh, drinkware, all, all that good stuff. I've been using a Intrepid coffee mug this whole time that we've been playing. Uh, it's very cool stuff with an adventure tabletop theme. You can check that out there as well. Uh, and then finally, Die Hard Dice, uh, who make incredible dice that I use almost exclusively anytime I have to roll physical dice. Um, they sent me this really cool uh, prismatic rainbow set this month. I've been uh, I've been using that at my desk all, all month so far. Uh, they're really, really pretty. You can pick up your own set at dieharddice.com and you can use the code BLACKFEATHERMAY, uh, all one word, capital B, capital M, for 10% off your order. Uh, and then finally, if you want to catch up on other shows that have been on the channel, uh, or if you want to re-watch this episode later, uh, you can do so at the Fantasy Network at uh, watch.thefantasy.network. Uh, just go to Stream Library, look for Blackfeather Guild, and you'll see all of our previous content there. Um, so that's all of that out of the way. Uh, our raid cry is going to be Corpse Brand Coffee from our chest to yours. Um, yeah. Copy that right out of chat if you'd like to. Uh, we're going to go raid God's Fall. Uh, Aram's playing some uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Uh, he's really cool. Give him a follow if, you, if you're not doing so already. Uh, I've had the, the privilege of playing in a couple of games with him uh, before on, uh, on other channels. Uh, so yeah, he's really cool. Say hi, give him a follow if you're not doing so, and then throw the raid raid cry in there. Uh, and then I will see you all uh, on Tuesday. Bye, everybody.